Oh, yeah, boy. oh, we're about to do it right now. I'm doing the doobly do. Yeah, David, we're about to do it right now. Yeah, get in yep. here. Okay, hopping up. All right, let's see. Let's well, see how deaf. David map transition, so you ain't gonna see Jack. Yeah, there you go. See that? Uh, so you just got the crap. <laughs> oh boy, look at all those guys that. Man, you know the weird thing is, two of the, like like the the leader guy of those three was an absolute chump. He got one shot. The magic lady did like I think what two maybe three really annoying magic missiles. And, didn't get and the other guy and yeah. Right. And then the other guy was like legitimately probably the toughest guy we've had to deal with so far. And he he did not damage him even once. I realized. Yeah, he took, he took, dude, he took so long to drop, though. He just, ugh, he was a problem. Wait, what, who took so long to drop? Uh, sword and board over there. But he really? dropped? Oh, yeah, uh, by the way. <laughs> wow, who dropped him? They're, all three of them are dead. Who? Meepo killed him. What? Yeah, dude, I told you, they they got so many bullshit 20s that they kept coming back until eventually, between the two of them, they managed to kill pretty much all the guys. There's only a few left, but they're, like, not even there, so we're kind of on our own. So, is the quest basically almost over? Like, literally, we just gotta burn the tree? Chris could literally leave this place and turn in the quest and hit, <laughs> and be like, all right, I'll just suck up all that wow! quest XP on my own, and then, uh, hey, look, I'm level four. Also, screw those guys. Time to go find a new party. Man, I really wish I didn't have to I didn't have to work today. I would love to, I would love that, to watch that. Jesus. You, it... Really... I would love to be there for the moments. Jesus Christ, that would be great. I don't know why this key this every once in a while, like one time, the, the mic is just like auto shutdown enabled. Press power to cancel. I'm just over here like I didn't touch any buttons, lady. <laughs> All right. That was a wood elf. You're a wood elf. Oh yeah, you don't have the herb or of eternal sunlight anymore. Um, ah shit! So that's gonna be fun. David, quick question. Do you have school tomorrow? Do I have what? School. No. I do. Why? It's Monday. I mean, it's Sunday, but tomorrow will be Monday, yes. Yeah, tomorrow's Monday, and I got school at 9.30. Like, like 9.30 see. in the morning? Yes. Well, David might want to hurry up then. Yep. And I know some people have work tomorrow. Coffee okay, yeah, off. I... I am... ready now. Okay, let's, let's I'm go ahead. Let me just go ahead and set all these guys up. So, Liz, um... Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? Just chilling. chilling Wanna see chilling. what happens? Yeah. Chilling like a soon-to-be villain. Yeah. Can Liz disembodied voice be our guide? <laughs> Spirit guide. Ooh, Spirit, yeah. I'm a roast. Also run that way. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure that's not here. Okay, good.
Okay, let's put him here. Having to set up the map. <laughs> Man, All right, Val, you make the shift, and I'll be the muscle. I'm sorry, what? I don't know. I don't know. I got a whole bunch of prison movies are, like, coming into my mind right now. Dude, you know we don't even wake up at the same time, right? Yeah, I'm aware. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so I don't think that's going to work how you think it's going to work. No, it's not. It's not. It's not but, can't, but I want to say things. All right, man. Okay. Vale. Shut up. Map transition. <laughs> oh, why does the map look like that? Like what? Uh, where like Chris and the gang are. Oh, I didn't know that you could see them still. Yeah. I was just I was just you trying to take them off way. the map. Let me take Chris off of everybody. Uh, what's up with the uh, Goldilocks in the middle over there? What are you talking about? There's a little the pile of stuff. Oh, that's a pile pile of goodies. Oh, okay. So okay, so intro. So Vale, you are currently um piled with a bunch of other bodies. Um, there isn't very there's. You can tell, from what you can first tell, it appears as if the entire party has been piled up here, but also on top of you, there's, you know, there's a couple of goblin corpses, there's a bugbear over here, um, you know, this, this is just, just a regular old pile of bodies. It's obvious that you have been assumed dead for a little while. Um, at first glance, by the way, you're prone right now, um, at first glance, um, you notice that the bosses, um, the the, per the the main people, um, you notice that there is a group of there's a group of two bugbears, two goblins, around a pile of what looks to be like a bunch of loot, some of which you can recognize as your stuff. Um, well, the party's stuff, I should say. Um, and it p appears as if they are arguing over who gets what at the moment. Hmm. Okay. Uh, hmm. Thinking emoji. I, I am not going to tell you what you do and do not have. You're going to have to check for it. Um. I check? Okay. Um, I mean, at first glance, you can tell that you don't have your staff anymore. Yeah. Um, you still have your robes on. That's um, That's comforting. Let me see. What else are you going to immediately notice? Um, oh, you don't longer have your pack on you that contain probably most of your goods. Um, and you do, however, still have your necklace because I don't think... Was there anything... The way I remember it, it didn't wasn't a very ornate looking necklace. It was just very plain, right? That um That that's a question, all right. Uh we're going to say that it's going to you you still have your necklace on you. All right, nice. And that is all you notice at first glance. All right. Well, I'm not a stealthy type. I'm not a charismatic type. I only have one spell. Uh, hmm. This is this is gonna be fun. Probably kill me on sight if I get up. Oh boy, the options aren't they great? Uh, let's see. Talking muffled bodies. Uh, about how many bodies does it seem are lying on top of me? Um, there's only a couple 
on top of you. It's not a gigantic pile of bodies, but you know it's it's medium sized. There are also a couple of under couple under you. It's kind of disgusting, kind of gross. <laughs> This is maybe a pile of bodies, maybe at mo at at most three layers thick. So not you know very thick. Okay. Uh, I assume there's no water anywhere. No. I never just noticed blood. any earlier either. Yeah, I didn't think so. I just had to double check. Okay. Um, let me check the range on something. <sighs> Damn, that's not much. Wait. Uh, I might still be able to use that. Uh, hmm. Huh. That's quite an idea. Interesting. Um... I am going to remain under the dead bodies and try and cast a spell while under here. <laughs> what are you going to try to cast? I, I would like to ritual cast Illusory Script. Okay. And I would like to put some writing on kind of the, the wall over there or the ground or somewhere in that area next to the pile uh -huh. and uh, I want each of the uh, bugbears and gobos to kind of see that like it like it it'll the the thing they'll read uh, will all say that it was uh, that one of the other guys is planning to uh, backstab them and take their share <coughs> So okay. the, this guy, they're they're all gonna think it's like they're all gonna think it's one of the other ones or something. So they're all kind of like no. So the the point is trying to get them to all be like it's you, it's you, it's you, it's you, and, and get them all fight each other. Okay. <laughs> before you do before you do that, there's going to be a background roll. Okay. Um, as you are contemplating your idea. Um, one of the, one second, a bugbear, um, he's going to come over, uh, he is going to reach around close, close to you, he is not going to re realize that, you know, you're moving or alive or anything, but he's going to pick up a book that is laying near you, he is going to head back to the um, the bunch. The pile? The, yeah. Okay. Uh, s stealthy magic, woo! Okay, um, on this wall? Yeah. It's going to appear. Um, the... The bugbear that, the first bugbear that went to go grab the book is going to be the first one to notice it. He's going to look at it. He's going to look over to one of the goblins over here, and he's going to grunt something. That goblin's then. He's going to come over. He's going to look at the wall. He's going to grunt something, and he's going to point at this bugbear. That bugbear is going to look at it. He's going to be like, he's going to grunt and then point at this one. That one then is going to come up, and then yell some stuff and then point at this one. They are then going to... Oh, that should be at the back. Huh. <laughs> they are and then now he's going, going to sneak to... under the pile of loot. <laughs> he has become the loot. They're going to, uh, you know, gather around they're going to start bickering amongst themselves. Hmm, interesting. Mm -hmm. Um. Hmm. See, the problem is there's still some skelly boys over there, and even even if I make my way out when they're not looking, there's still some relatives. The mindless creatures like that don't get distracted quite as easily. Relatives. 
Yeah, relatins. Okay. So it's a really, <laughs> relatins. really, really old inside joke that literally none of you know. So don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. Rad skeletons. <laughs> they're they're like regular skeletons, but they have six shades on. <laughs> so they're pretty neato. <laughs> they're real freaking neato. One second. What did you say, Electra? Okay. I want to. Do I have to? Ugh. Hmm. Oh man, I hate I hate those pills. Okay, continue. <laughs> you know, yeah, take take I, it. I have, I have a really, really, if it works, funny idea. <laughs> okay. But is it smart? David, David, can I? Hmm. Uh, can I tell what way this that skeleton is facing? Is he looking anywhere over here? Um, or are they watching, like, for people on coming from higher up? Yes. Yeah, yes to the second one? And one second, I need to see something. Er, roll perception. Okay. It's going to be difficult for you to be able to tell. Because it's... He is looking for, he's looking, not in your direction, but he's kind of peeking for people coming. And uh, the other guy on the left, too? The guy on the left seems to be looking at a tree. Mm, what a bony tree. My favorite. It's dead. Tree. Just like me. Hashtag relatable. Inside. Um, I'd like to... Uh, take this opportunity to try and uh, try and uh, kind of like slip out of these uh, bodies, and if I can uh, get like kind of behind the tree or something behind the big tree or or something like that. Okay. Um, no one is looking at you. No one is even looking for you. So. I'm going to say that you can successfully get out of there. Uh, whoops. Uh, we'll just ignore that. Uh, so I'm, I'm out of the dead bodies? You're out of the dead bodies. Okay. I'm going to... Uh, I don't... like. I know the tree's at, like, based on the picture, really big, so I don't know where I need to be to be considered, like, unseen behind there. or something. There. Okay. You're gonna be hugging the tree, kind of. All right. Um, yeah, yeah. I just want to say for a quick moment that that the picture in the loading screen is kind of way puts things way out of proportion. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's like, okay. I mean, the tree is the tree is big, right? Like, it's not a small tree. Yeah. But, but is it like like fantasy it, like world level trees where like it covers. But, like, yeah, no, it, it, it's like the girth of the the girth of the tree is like a, like a monster. It's like it's a like, normal I've seen, type of big, right? Yeah, like I've okay. seen twenty foot trees with uh, girth trees. I don't know about y'all, but I, I've seen them. Yeah, man, you you like to measure the girth of trees, don't you? I mean, I had to for my ranger badge, so. <laughs> Nah, I, just I had to take the circumference of a tree. David, David, I have a picture of a social mind. worker going up the tree. Where did David touch you? <laughs> Instead of a doll of a child, it's a doll of a tree? Yep. So what, like a sapling? Yeah. They just rip a, they just rip a sapling out of the ground and use that as the demonstration? Oh god, it's even... That's even way better and David, way messier. I would like to ritual illusory script, uh, like, below or next to the first message, and I, uh, if I can get it off, would like it to say, uh... What are you doing to illusory script? Do what? What are you doing? Uh, illusory script. 
Yeah, but what are you going to say? That's what I was getting at. Okay. So uh, I want I want it to say uh, you need to you need to take him out uh, before he gets you. The skeletons can help. Okay. Uh, you're going to do that, but the uh, the creatures are too busy bickering and kind. They're kind of like at this point they're gonna kind of like shift or over closer to the treasure and they're still bickering among them they're kind of like grabbing at things in the loot pile on there right. now i just gotta wait it out one of them will notice eventually <laughs> any minute now any minute now six o'clock five <laughs> six o'clock six o'clock uh yep I, I press the T key and drag the wait bar over enough hours to where it's <laughs> six o'clock. <laughs> but no, I'm just uh, I'm just gonna give it a minute and see if they uh, notice. Um. Okay, so thirty minutes passes. Uh, they don't notice. Um, they they don't notice the writing. They uh, one of them is going to. Um, they're gonna look like they're starting to reach an agreement. One of them is going to go down. Uh, the one that's holding the book is gonna show it to everyone. You're 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 going out, David. Every. Dude. Why is it only this? Why why is it literally only this that messes? That's so weird. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. Something about the book. Yeah. Um, they're going to open the book uh, to the first page. They're going to read everything. Everyone's going to kind of get interested. And they're going to open it to the second page. They're reading my martial arts book. Those bastards. Oh, God. They've learned how to learn. One sec. I need to read this. Okay. I guess that's a background roll, technically. Whew. 20... Um, you're going to hear a gigantic explosion that roll perception. You're gonna hear a actually no. You're gonna perception. <laughs> oh. Um, no, I guess the, the 19, We're just we're gonna go with the nineteen. You notice as the explosion erupts that it's gonna come from the book. Um, it's gonna be like this engulfing flame. Do I know which book that is? Um. No, you do not know what book it is. Um, the goblins are going to almost instantly go, like, erupt into flame. And then the... Uh, what Satan book is that? The, bug, the bugbears are going to look very, very injured, close to death. Anything that was in the loot pile that was flammable, it, flammable is now singed. Well, anyways, uh, David, so, I'm sorry, did you say that I waited for half an hour? Yeah. Well, isn't that awfully convenient? David, <laughs> can I think, can that be a short rest? <laughs> <laughs> I could make some use out of that. Fine. Right. I guess you can take a short rest, as it? Alright, nice, Sue. Hold on, let me... Wait, isn't there, wait, isn't there, one second, I have to make sure, I think, yeah, I think a short rest actually has to be at least an hour. Does it have to be at least uh, an hour? Uh, 30 minutes to an hour. I thought, I thought it was 30 minutes or to an hour. It seems like uh, this came like... up, this was an oh. issue last time. Was it? No. Oh. You're an issue, but you can't just use any tissue. No, it, 30 minutes is not a short rest. It's not. Weird. Because, like, on the month table, they said if I just meditate for, like, 30 minutes, I get my key back. And that counts for sure. Let me, let me double check to make sure I'm not stupid. That does sound weird. Huh? 
Uh, yeah, for me, just a you must spend at least thirty minutes of rest meditating to regain your key points. Okay. You finish a short long rest at the end of your journey. Okay. Huh. Yeah, doesn't doesn't say. Okay. Uh, does I get just a monk thing? My bad. No, yeah, sorry. A short rest has to be yeah, an hour. That's what it roll twenty said? Huh. Yep. That's pretty lame. It is kind right, of. I mean, you can hang out I'll there for another thirty minutes, minutes then. <laughs> um. Do, 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 do. So the bugbears in this time, um, they're gonna go into the loot, and they are. Do, 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 do. Let me see what they're gonna pull out. They're gonna pull out those. Okay. Okay. And then let's roll that again. Nice. They're going to go into the loot pile and they're going to pull out two potions and they're going to drink them. Uh, the only potions that and are even in there to... are the, is the... There's only one potion that we even had between the whole party. So I don't know. How, David, how do they pull out two if we only had one? They pull out two potions. There's loot in this loot pile, both that you recognize and that you don't recognize. Oh, see, that's that that's a key thing that I would have liked to know earlier. Okay. But has it been another half hour? Yes, it has now been another half so, hour. So, so have I taken a the short rest? The, the bugbears are kind of now resting up with their backs against the wall. They're, they're kind of nursing themselves right now. Yes, you have taken a short rest. What do you get back in a short rest? Do you get any spell slots uh, back? I would like to both spend my hit dice and use arcane recovery so I can get back either one second or two first level slots. I would like to scoop up... Um, man, that's a that's a tough call. Uh, considering what I'm fa I'm going to grab two first level uh, slots back with arcane recovery. And it only works once a day, so it's not like you can spam it either. Um, and I would also like to roll some hit dice. Uh, okay. So let me just swap these mods over. Uh, do do do. It's my plus three. I forget. Do you add your con mod for each die rolled, or do you just add your con mod once, regardless of how many dice you roll for it? I'm fairly sure you just add it once. Is it just once? Okay. Uh, look it up. Also, aren't you only getting back one hit die? What? What are you talking about? No, yeah, aren't uh, you only getting... A short rest is a period of downtime for an hour of blah, 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 drink. A character can spend one or more hit die at the end of the short rest up to the character's maximum hit die. Yes. Yeah, I mean, that's not the question, though. <laughs> um, I bet. Good try, though, Godak. <laughs> What's your question? Yeah, you can spend more than one hit die. Yeah, I don't, I don't see what well, that the question? confusion. Or am I missing something else? Like, no, you were asking about the con modifier. Oh, the con I oh, I my bad. I thought you were asking about the multiple hit dice. Yeah, I thought you were asking about that, too. I was like, what? Anyway. Okay, I anyway. The con, okay. the con mod. I think I see it. I, I found something on it. You can only add the con modifier. The con mod of ugh. The con modifier is a something that's added at the end. Okay, well, that's fine. I still have 16 HP. <laughs> Woo. That's a lot better than one. <laughs> All right. Um, at this point, uh, it would have been an hour. I am going to uh, move to the other side of the tree and kind of peek my head around. Uh, which bugbear looks to be uh, 
less worn for wear. Which one looks better off? They they look pretty much, pretty much the, the same. same. No discernible difference. You, you, you can't tell the difference now. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you're you're, you're like a racist. What, you what don't are, like what are the two of them race. holding or have immediately near them? What do you say? What what are they what are they holding? What do they have immediately near them? Um whether it be armaments or miscellaneous. Um let me double check. Da, 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 da. They both have hide armor and a shield. Uh, one has a morning star. The other one has a glaive. Okay. Um, I would like to target glavey boy. <laughs> okay. And I would like to cast a suggestion on him. Okay. I forget how to. Let me. Can you uh, throw suggestions at the chat to remind me how it works? Uh, hold on. Let me scroll down to it. Give me un momento. Oh, the power of control C. There you go. I am Hammer. How far exactly? Okay, I see. Okay, so yeah, I'll need to I'll need to step up to the uh, edge of the tree. So I'll just go ahead and eek. Uh, if I can, I'd like to kind of like not be revealed and try and stay hidden between the branches and the dead bodies and whatnot. If I can. Uh, you're gonna have to stay. You're gonna have to go back prone on the ground in order to stay hidden. You have to like. All right. Well, I, I'll just I'll just stand up then. The pile, kind of like crawl on like behind the pile. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'll just stand. Hmm. Okay. Um. Do you want me to save a thing first, or do you want a wisdom save first? Uh, which one are you gonna? Which one are you gonna go against? Uh, Glavy Boy. Okay. That's right. Glavy boy is going to make a wisdom saving throw. Nope. <laughs> That's not going to see. Alright, nice zoo. Hooray! I finally got a second level spell to work, and only after half of us are dead. Man, I'm really not good at this. Oh man. So much stretching. Oh, my back. <sighs> Alright, damn. This actually worked. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was only half ready. Um, I would like my suge suggestion to be... You believe it would be wise to escort me, your new king, for the next eight hours away from here to safety with the rest of the kobolds out of here and up the... What, what, what was that kind of, like, hole thing? What, what would you call that? It's not really a... Is it a... It's not really a well. I don't know. What would you call that? No. Uh, I, I, I'd call it a well. Well, whatever you would call that. Let's just call it a well. All right. <laughs> so the well... You guys said well, like, five times. Yeah, to the well and also you should give me all my stuff back on our way out mm -hmm. let's see <laughs> if you do it yeah, okay. I'll give you an yeah, I guess I, I'll give you a copper piece and if you're a good boy, I'll give you two copper pieces. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds reasonable. <laughs> the bug there. That's fair. Um.
to you. I would love to see how this ends. Yeah, me too, actually. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Hold up, Davy boy. I need to get a drink. I'm, yeah. I'm on E. I'm on E. Depending how the rolls go, I can only see this going like the best possible way, which is the less likely way to happen, or the normal variant. Kiss my boot. Okay. Oh, two hours until you wake up. Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, wait a second. These guys. What did you say? No, I forgot to make an Astro Boy remake. Oh, huh? <laughs> Damn, it looks good. There we go. <laughs> Those guys are feeling much better. So this is going to be interesting. <laughs> yeah. Very. Because you, you got one guy convinced. You got, what, four of the people you have to convince now? Yeah, you got to convince all of them. To worship you. As um, plus, that's not even the main problem. I know it's not. What do you think? What What is the main problem here, Joseph? Um. Backish. What's up? Let me think. Like, why they're not going to kill him? Or no, what's, even... the, what's what is Vale's number uno problem? Leaving. Survival. <laughs> Wait, does, he doesn't even speak Goblin. How's he talking to him? Bugbears speak Common, dude. Remember? Magic. <laughs> what do you do? Oh my god. Yeah, you forget that part? Was it bugbears or hobgoblins? No, bugbears speak common too. I know this. Yes, I believe they do. Yes, they do speak common. Most things speak common. That's why it is called common. <laughs> but the goblins don't speak common. a logical deduction. So I'm ready to continue, I guess, Davy Boy. Okay. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's see. Let, let's see the problem I am obviously missing because my memory is pretty shitty. And also, I'm studying. Okay, Vale. He's going to he's going to escort you. All right, nice. What about Ibis? No, but I'm he's... not. Okay, Vale. Yeah, what's up? Um, all right. What 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 are you gonna do? He's going to help escort you. I mean, he's yeah, he's kind of like we fucking leave, and I take my stuff with me. 
how I mean, so he's gonna walk up to you. Okay, so he's gonna walk up to you. Oh Okay, now and, I see the problem. And he's going to say So you're the new guy? You you're you're taking over tree tree dude? Yeah, I you, you see the the thing about the last guy he's dead and I'm not, so I mean you have a you have a pretty good point there. I mean I not being dead, I guess, is a good quality for a leader. I mean, I mean, I I, I, I hate no, to talk bad no, no. about about the last leader. You know, he he did his job well and all. You know, well, I mean, I was. I mean, I'd give him like a seven out of ten, give or take a point or two. I mean, he got a lot of us killed, so you know, no, 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 no hard feelings about talking right, bad we'll, about. We'll, him. we'll go down to a six out of ten. Yeah, but you know, he's also not so, alive, and you know, le leaders work a lot better when they're in one conscious living peace and can you know actually lead so uh step one to rebuild is we need to get out of here and go get new peeps so onward to new peeps huh okay then i mean i, I don't think the two of you guys and those two skeletons are really going to be enough you know if we're, if we're really gonna you know do this thing we're gonna need a lot more people you know gotta amass an army Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah. Let, 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 actually, considering the let's number, tell... I guess it'd be more like a platoon. Not important. I mean, you're gonna have a hard time. I, I, I don't know about. Can you control the tree and and the the tree creatures? Yeah, I just gotta. I just gotta grab the. Uh, need the staff. I I need a book, and then I need. Uh, I need to like read. I need to read all the stuff and need a little bit of time to kind of get like the motions down. It's it's not an immediate thing. The the tran the way magic works, the transition of power takes a little while to fully go over. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it, the the twigs, the the tree things might be a pr little bit of a problem until you can get them under your control. But we we'll we'll do what we can. I mean, they seem pretty weak, so yeah. we can probably one, one step be okay one step at a time. One step at a time. Besides, we can always make one more tree things. Those guys are a dime a dozen. It's true. <laughs> he did create the last guy did create quite a bit of them while he was here. It was kind of creepy actually. <laughs> you and me both. Well, okay, let's go tell the other name, bugbear. The can I can I do it? Do you have a name I can call you by? The the transfer sheet didn't really give me a uh, a list of current employees. They kind of assumed that something would happen to a lot of them, so they were just like, "And eh, just work with what you got." Oh yeah, yeah. My name is um George. All right, all right, all right. George. That's uh, is it foreign? Yeah. Ah, oh, not from around <laughs> here, huh? Well, uh, I don't know how long you've been here, but welcome to the whatever you call the immediate area the 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 really dark underground zone yeah welcome to that also uh Thanks. you're my new right hand because you're the only person that's actually said anything today so you're already okay. doing better than the other guy well let's uh let's let's go also, get he's now let's your get your stuff. allowed to boss him around okay <laughs> let's let's go uh Let's go get your stuff. Ball. 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 Okay, so you're gonna hear George say, "Hey, Larry," and Larry's gonna be like, <laughs> "Okay." Uh, I can't tell. Uh, George is. Oh, okay. There he is. There we go. <laughs> You've now discovered Larry's name. Congratulations. His name Larry. Yes. <laughs> All right. Nice. As I assumed. George is gonna. George is going to uh, say to Larry. Larry, this is uh, this is the new guy. He's going to be taking over. Larry's going to say. No, that that can't be. We we just fought that dude. Mm, see, George is gonna be like George is gonna say, "I ah, know, I'm I'm pretty sure that 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 was that was another piece. I mean, this guy came behind the tree, right? And we killed all those other guys, right? 
I mean, Leia's gonna be like, I'll, I thought so. I, at this well, point, what if one I'll, of them I'll, pull, I'll point over to the pile of corpses. I mean, those guys look pretty dead. I'm pretty sure you killed them all. Especially that one. <laughs> that one looks extra dead. Good job. Huh. Yeah, dude, did did you not see? Uh, the the tree the tree sent me. See, the, the tree has this really complicated network. I, I can tell you about it over lunch tomorrow or something. But yeah, I, I kind of came from the tree. Um, okay, so you know how you can climb stairs and they send you like up and down things? Imagine stairs but magic and like not stairs. Huh. It's really well, complicated. That's weird. It, it's but... cool. it, it'll, it'll, okay. it'll be in tomorrow's uh, uh, morning meeting. Okay. Oh, we have morning meetings now. Well, I mean, would you prefer like a brunch meeting or something? I hear people like brunch. That sounds really nice. All right, we'll, we'll make them brunch that's, meetings. That's That sounds amazing. I already like you more than the other guy. He didn't feed us like at all. We just had to like go and <laughs> scavenge what we could find. Brunch sounds... It's like cool. I best. like I like me more than the last guy too. Nice. <laughs> so uh, so what is it that you need? Uh, well, for starters, I'm gonna need uh, this, 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 and I just go through and get all the stuff that's mine back. Okay, so you are going to gain. You're gonna get your sin. You you get your sending stone. That's an important one. You get the. What was the staff made out of? Uh, wood. That's unfortunate. You get. Da, 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 da. You're gonna get those four sapphires back. Why not? Why not to make it easier? Why don't you just tell me what I don't have? <laughs> because I'm having to go through and determine what it was made out of, and if it has disappeared. You get the potion of fire resistance back. This sounds really complicated. <laughs> okay, let me cross off my staff of bird calls that I got to use like one and a half times or something. <laughs> you get a you have a vial of concentrated goblin blood. Uh, yep. You have the you get the white dragon youngling tooth. Onyx gem. <laughs> what are you triggered about? <laughs> Liz? Okay. That's mine. That's my loot. How dare you? Don't no, this is... <laughs> All the stuff that I'm listing off right now is is uh. Remember, we each had a tooth. Yeah. Uh, you have um three. Okay, so you still have the three uses of the elixir of health. All right. Um. Yeah, that's really Qual's that help, help Qual Qual's feather token has been incinerated. All right, I'll mark that one off. Not that we ever got outside to use it yet, anyways. <laughs> Uh, all of the scrolls are gone. Aww, I actually wanted those. The orb of eternal sunlight um, is not is missing. Gone, yeah. yeah, it's, it's not, not currently here. here. Yeah. Um, the underground temple journal went up in flames. Uh, the book Tales of the Spine of the World went up in flames. The uh, two flasks of alchemist fire are still there. Uh, okay, hold on. Tales, find the world. Also, you look over to your right, and you notice that the book that caused the explosion was Treasures of the Fire Lords. Huh. You notice that that book is open to the side with a gigantic explosion out of the middle of it. I'm just gonna close that the, up. 
and the tome the tome went up in flames uh, and wait, the tome? the tome of druidic the theories uh, oh okay uh, um all that reading, you have find the, all that reading potential you uh are missing you get the four gate gems that are worth 20 gold each and half of your straight up gold however much just straight gold that you had i'm not sure if that gold amount down there is what you had in physical gold or if it was what was the actual just physical gold okay then you gain then you gain back five 315. uh if there's more gold in the pile can i just grab until i have what i had worth <laughs> No. <laughs> but is there more gold in the pile? So you're going to go and you're going to grab from... Or the um, bugbear is going to say, Hey, save some for the rest of us. Some of that's our share. And you're going to not wanting to upset the bugbear. You're just going to take the 315 worth of gold. <laughs> oh, shoot. Is today payday already? <laughs> Man, why did they have to send me over here and make the first day payday? That's... That's really that's really bad business. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to write them a strongly worded letter later. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's All your right. entire how much, inventory. How much gold did you just say? Three something or the other? Three fifteen. Three fifteen. Okay. All right. Hooray! I got most of my stuff back. Most of it was useless, but I have most of it back. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Except for the scrolls. Except Boo. for like legitimately the most useful things I had, because they were flammable, cool and good. Yep. Let me just do some little modifications here. Um, actually, I can just. Okay, so Larry's gonna look at you and he's gonna. Oh, no, I'm sorry, George is going to look at you and he's going to say, so we don't exactly know what to do, but so just go wherever it is that you feel like we need to go and we'll, uh, we'll follow next to you. Keep you safe. Wow. All right. Um, I believe the first order of business is, um, they did... Godak over here is just like, Godak over here is just like, why is this working? This shouldn't be working. Why yeah, is no, it working? No, no, no. <laughs> so many problems should have arrived. Like, not even to the point, like, we were fighting these guys. It's magic, I ain't gotta explain shit. Oh, one dude, not all the dudes. I mean, there's only four people, and only two of them are actually, like, intelligent creatures. The other two are... If you, would you like to, would you like to know what happened, go to heck? A behind what? the scene, a behind the scenes intelligence roll was made. <laughs> <laughs> And it was not a good one, I take it. And it was, it was, it did not go well. Fuck, <laughs> that's all you need to tell me. Okay, I accept it. I mean, the guy that was under the suggestion spell would have followed regardless, because he failed the wisdom safe. But getting the other guy to yeah, tag yeah. along that easily was the important part. Yeah, that, that, that was my Otherwise, question, I would have to kill him. But it was failed intelligence saves, that's all you have to tell me. Yep. So, there was um, a couple of the higher-ups didn't really tell me that we were gonna be skeletons. Uh, what's up with those guys? Are they... are they chill? Do they... do they already have stations or something? I, I just... What, what's the status on them? They didn't really tell George me. Is gonna, really George here. is gonna say, honestly, I don't really know. I, I just kinda went along with whatever I was told to do. I didn't really understand half of what was going on. Hmm. Do you know if the... the last guy should have been keeping records of stuff. Do you know where he kept those things? I can go take a look and maybe they'll say what what's up with the skellies. They're gonna look and they're gonna think for a bit and they're gonna be like, No, I I don't remember. Seriously? I don't think he ever told us. No wonder they sent me down here. Never mind, screw the six out of ten. That guy's a four out of ten on a good day. Oof. Can't even keep records of all this stuff, seriously? Oh my god. It's okay. There's going to be some big changes now that I'm here, you guys, and it's going to be for the better. Um, cool. First order of business, <laughs> we need to figure out if those skeletons are going to be a problem, because they seem fine now, but I don't know if the um, influx of magic power 
is gonna be a problem for them. Undead tend to be a little, um... Undead. Undead. And, uh, very finicky with staying controlled. I mean, they're literally mindless. Like, they're actually stupid. You guys wouldn't happen to know if they have... So, uh, George is gonna say, well, I guess we could... I guess we could go up to them and try seeing what they do, but I don't, I don't know what else besides that. All right, uh, everyone on your guard. Let's, uh, let's see what's up with them. Hey, George, Larry, rock, paper, scissors to see which one of you gets to touch it first. <laughs> George is gonna. Uh, George is gonna throw a rock, and Larry. He's gonna throw a rock. Ooh. Um, George is gonna throw. A, George is gonna throw a paper. And Larry is gonna throw a rock again. Look at that. Okay, it's <laughs> George wins. All right, Larry. That means you gotta go do it. Okay, he's gonna go up. He's gonna come up behind it. Don't let him bite your finger it. when you poke it. I like my employees to have all their fingers. The skeleton is going to turn. The skeleton is going to turn around. He's the. And then the um, skeleton just kind of, kind of look at him, look at him funny. Larry's going to come back and just be like, "Hey, boss, I don't think, I don't think he's doing anything. He just kind of looked at me funny." Hey, hold up, hold up now, Mister Skelly. Nobody looks at my employees funny but me. The skeleton is going to look at you and... The skeleton is going to draw its bow. Oh god! Ah! It's going, okay. it's going to... Can I do anything when I see it draw the bow? Okay. It's going to make a ranged attack against you. Ow. It... Larry is gonna jump in front of it, and it's gonna—he's gonna take the damage for you. <laughs> oh shit, oh, Larry! Larry, <laughs> Larry, I'm in in clutch. <laughs> and then Larry is my favorite cable guy. And then Larry is going to make a melee attack against the skeleton. Larry is going to miss. George is gonna come up on the other side. George is going to make a melee attack and hit. Man, I'm and really the skeleton is no more. Guy. <laughs> Larry's gonna look at you and be like, "Well, that hurt." <laughs> uh, Larry, you get a bonus, sir. Jeez, here, Larry, hold on. Let me let me hold up, hold up. Let me let me give you some workers' comp real quick, and I would like to uh, begin casting a healing elixir spell. A healing elixir spell? Oh yeah, I can what? do that. Did you forget I can do that, dude? I can do that. But healing elixir doesn't heal, doesn't actually heal anything. It just heal, no, just no, cures no, the ailments. The spell is called healing elixir, but it makes a healing potion. Okay. Like actual hit points. Casting oh, okay. time one minute, range self, uh, duration eight hours. You create a. Oh, uh, so you just yeah, you create, create a... so. Uh, I'll just wait, hold up, give me a sec, and I'll spend the next minute casting the spell. Uh, as an action, a creature can drink it or give it to, administer it to someone else. Uh, whoever drinks it gains 2d4 plus 2 hit points. Would you like to roll it or would you like me to roll? Um, you know what, why, why not I do it? Why not? What's what's the worst that could happen? Two ones. Or, or two fours. Hey. It's, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure if that's what I want or not, to be honest. Uh, Larry now appears to be even in even better shape than he was when he first, you know, he was first under your employ. There you go. How, how's that workers' comp treating you? Thanks, boss. It's okay, Larry. You, you earned it. You're my favorite cable guy. Larry's gonna look at you confused. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I, I'm, I'm too used to the, uh, the jokes from back at the old spot. I'm I'm sure I'm sure you'll you'll catch on after a while. You're a smart. Larry's guy. just gonna shrug. Larry's just gonna shrug at you and then be be okay with it. <laughs> All right. Also, George, my guy. Could you do me a favor and do that 
to the other one way over there, and I'm going to point way over at the other one. If the first one did that, I have a feeling the second one might might have a similar issue. Should, maybe we should just kind of, you know, t k kill the problem well, before it actually becomes one. 18. Okay, George is going to be like, okay, boss, and then he's going to say, Larry, let's go, and they're both going to start yelling, letting out, like, warlike yells, and they're going to run <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> over here. I'm going to try, I'm going to, like, run it. And, two, three, four, five, yeah, that's so one's going to make it to here. Uh, the skeleton is going to see them, and... Yeah, the skeleton's gonna shoot. He's gonna shoot at George because George is the one that he sees running at him, and he is going to miss. Oh, poor skeleton! That probably means he's going to die. George is going to come up, and he is going to make an attack. And is that hit? That hits. That's the least amount of damage I've seen one of these things do. That Man. might be like his minimum damage or some shit. I don't know. Because he's normally been doing anywhere from, what, like 15 to 20-ish? Yeah, their bugbear misses. Do you choose to do anything? Uh, yeah, I'm going to run up and be like, hang up, guys, let me give you a hand. And I'm going to literally give the skeleton a hand. And I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to give him a handshake and say, you're fired, and cast Shocking Grasp on him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that hits. Squeak. Nice. Apparently everybody's rolling maxes. <laughs> it's one of those one of those nights. The skeleton's gone. You know you know why you know why my rolls aren't sucking complete ass so far? Because this is actually a night that isn't total aids for me to stay up and do this on. <laughs> well, it's the opposite for me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Joseph. Look on the bright yeah. side, even if I munch it. There's only two bugbears for you to deal with, so yeah. even if I no, even if you're munching, yeah, Liz, you should probably <laughs> munching even harder. Liz, I was expecting a different chain of events to occur. You can go to bed if you wish. <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, let me know how it turns out, guys. Yeah. Well, well, I'll let you know if someone dies. Okay. <laughs> Good night. Thank Good luck. Thanks night. for chilling. I guess. Night, Liz. <laughs> And she's gone. Rip. Didn't even. Okay, so Jordan is gonna say, "Hey, so what now?" <laughs> All right. Uh, well, now that that's taken care of, in the Im immediate vicinity seems to be. Mm, and and then like I'll pause for half a sec, cast Prestidigitation, and make it smell a little better. <sighs> better already. Okay. Say that again, Nico. I I, I got. It. I, I love the smell of an of an efficient workplace in the. What time of day is it? You can't tell. <laughs> uh, whatever time yeah, of day it is right now. We'll just assume it's morning. Morning. I I. Yes, excellent. Larry's gonna look at you and be like, "You mean like the morning star that I'm carrying right now?" Precisely. See, Larry, this is why you're my favorite cable. Oh, that's right. I, I forgot. Uh, inside joke from other place. My bad. My bad. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Now, here. Y you, two, you two wait here a sec. I gotta go. I gotta go check on something. I, I gotta go uh, do some quick paperwork. You, uh, you two uh, keep watch. One of you over there, and one of you on the other side, and just uh, give me like give me like thirty minutes. I gotta go do some quick paperwork, and then we'll get a move on. Okay. And then uh, I would oh god, uh, I would like to spend the uh, doing a couple of different things over the next 30 minutes uh, for starters uh, I don't I don't know exactly who's technically like Veil vale, doesn't technically know quite who's really dead and who's just unconscious because he didn't really you know check that when he was in the pile of bodies so uh, first order of business is to check the bodies and see who's actually dead and who's actually alive it appears as if <laughs> It appears as if um, Godak is still has a pulse, and Ibis still has a pulse. 
Everyone else, on the other hand, does not have a pulse. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me again. However, you feel Big Bird for a pulse, and while Big Bird itself doesn't have a pulse, you feel some magic residual energy inside of her that has a pulse, and it's super weird. <laughs> mm, close enough. Um, uh, other order of business. Uh, during this time frame, uh, can I? So I can clearly tell that the uh, various. Uh, I, I don't know what to call them, but the guys on the cover page, like those guys and whatever, like, are, are have their bodies been returned here? Because it doesn't look like they're here from my perspective. Uh, you can see the body of the magic caster. From, do you not see the body of the dude magic? Of the other two? Yeah. Okay, uh, does magic lady have anything on her? Or has all her stuff been kind of like thrown in the big pile? You mean magic dude? Magic lady, whatever. <laughs> the lady face that was actually in this room. Oh, you mean Nyx? No, no, the one that cast magic missile at us. Oh, no, the ma magic missile lady isn't in here. Okay, so, so none of the bodies are in here. Well, yeah, no, I said the magic dude, the, you know, the one that... Balak, the one that talked to you. Oh, he's Druid in here. Boy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so not he's in that. here? Yeah. Okay, so does he have anything on him? Not anymore. Hmm. Can I gather that the stuff is in the pile? Yes. Okay. Um, I would like to uh, take take a minute or two and sift through the pile. Um, let me see. If possible, particularly looking for uh, the Orb of Eternal Sunlight. I know it's not there. Vale doesn't know it's not there. The Night Collar Whistle. Um, and anything the uh, uh, Druid Boy would have that might allow me to have some level of control over the tree. Or even just stop it from doing tree stuff or whatever the case may be. I don't know. Um, you find one dose of antitoxin? Ah, hold on. Hold on, I gotta scroll up. I gotta scroll up. Okay. Um, and the gold Hercule signet ring. Oh, wait. No, you don't. You don't find the Hercule signet ring. That's a really dumb way of reading... Of Put listing those treasure items out. I apologize. All right, no signet ring. <laughs> what it is is it lists it lists the items that players can find, and it has Balak, and it has four bullet points, and then the last bullet point is the gold signet ring can be found on, and it's like what? Oh, that's, <laughs> that's pretty weird. <laughs> I guess I'm not a jewelry boy then. And that's all you're going to find. Just the one antitoxin? Uh, you find the burned remains of some sort of magical looking wand, but that's it. Is, is there, does it seem like there's any point in taking it, or is it basically just a, nah, a char grill twig no at this point? point. It's, it's a char grill twig. Alright, I'm going to take it anyways. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm actually writing char grilled twig. And then in parentheses, not a burned magic wand. <laughs> and that's all you're going to find. All right. Um, I would like to also make uh, two more healing elixirs. Okay. Oh, and you, do, do you need things to... Don't you need stuff to do that, though? What are you talking about? You said we were playing without material components. Oh, that's right. For the time being. Besides, I still have my arcane focus anyway, so it double doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, okay. With your arcane focus, you can just make it? 
that's the point of the arcane focus. It's like, lol. Yeah, see, whenever you make uh, any of the casting classes, one of, you know how, like, you know, when you play a fighter, you can get a sword or an axe or whatever. One of the various yeah. things you get just for starting as a caster class is either a component pouch or an arcane focus. Okay. And I I'd, just I'd... chose the focus over the pouch, that's all. Okay. Hey, actually, I got a question for multi If you multi-class, I'm not going to do it with Godak. I'm just curious. If you multi-class, do you also get our new skills? Or like a, do you also get like new skills, or you still stick with the same old it skills? It depends on the class. Most classes, yeah. uh, when you mul when when you multi-class into a class, for the most yeah. part, you don't get any of the things that you would get if you spent your first level in that class. But you do get like one or two things depending on the class. I think I know Rogue gives you one skill, and I think either Artificer or Bard might give you another one. But that's pretty much it. I don't think any of the others give you any skills. Okay. Yeah, acquiring new skills is like a job and a half. Alright, that's what I thought. It's it's mostly tied to like feats, really. Okay. Like whatever you yeah. whatever you start with at level one. Unless you really make it a point to get more skills, you're probably having to spend a feed on it. And even then, that's okay. like still you making it really a point. Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> Thank you. So anyways, I'd like to make uh, two elixirs, and then uh, first I want, to, I want to put the first one in Ibis, and then when he gets up, just... You know, I'll give him a quick rundown and then do the same for Godat. How many how many times can you make uh, those health potions? Uh, as many times as I have spell slots, and after after I make those two, I'll have one first level slot left. Okay. Okay, so Ibis is gonna gain the amount back. Let me swap the dice over. Eek, no, down, not up. All right, so five for Ibis and seven for Godak. What? How many? You get seven HP. And you <laughs> wake up. <laughs> the moment, the like, but Wait. like, okay, so like, I'm pouring the potion down his throat because that's how I have to do it. So like, before he even says a word, I I have my other hand over his mouth, and I just give him a. And then. You just hear Godak just scream into your hand like <laughs> and I I just look at him like I, I I don't say anything but I just give him a fucking seriously dude look. Uh and I look I look around and I see what's all going on. Uh and and then I lean in real close and whisper. Okay, listen. Long story short, I magic finally worked. Um half of us are dead. I don't know where another half of us are. Also, there's three halves of us now, not thirds. Don't even worry about it. And, um, I think a lot of people are dead. I think some people escaped. I think the druid guy is dead. I don't know. We're alive. I know magic. And, uh, also, the two bugbears we're gonna see in a sec are uh, my new employees, and I'm the new boss of this place. For, like, the next eight hours. After that, I don't know. It's really up for grabs. Oh. <laughs> Wait, is that how dungeons work? Yes. <laughs> Alright, noted. It's okay. How, it's, it's how this dungeon works. Alright, um, I, so what I are you gonna say about- I did a magic right. so what, what are you gonna say about me? Um... I'm like a prisoner? Something? Uh, okay, so... Here, I got an idea. And then I'm gonna start, like, pulling on parts of the tr I'm gonna start, like, either- Whatever, like, nearby, uh, bark or anything- you know what, like, David? I got a question. Like, here, go ahead. Yeah. And stick this on you. Oh um, yeah. Do I still have that apple? No. Ah, okay. Never mind. Did I see right. any apples in the pile? No. Interesting. So I'm, I'm, gonna, okay. I'm just gonna grab some like bark that's lying around here and there, and so be like, here, stick this to you. You're you're gonna be my new uh, barky risen servant, unless you got a better idea. <laughs> I was once, I was once Godak Gripnall. Now I am Barkdak Gripnall. So you are going to <laughs> you start to try to, 
as you try to stick the uh, bark on, you're going to notice it doesn't stick very well, and that you're going to notice that it does stick well to some parts, though. The parts that have that where Godak is bleeding. You infer that the only way that you're going to be able to stick all the spark to Godak is that if you take the blood from the bot, like if you dip each bark piece into like the body pile, and that okay. then you stick it on Godak. Uh, yep. Yeah, just all right. Um, you got a knife? What? No, you you're an idiot. Oh, okay. <laughs> also, your your name you are correct. For the next eight hours, your name is Barkdak. After that, your shift will be you can go home. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, what about our friends? Are we just gonna leave me? Oh, for the freaking look, this is why I'm the boss and you're the Barkdak. <laughs> I'm saying it, Daddy. Give me spare you. Now, now you just give me a sec. And you, gotcha. and, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at Ibis, and then click, and I'm gonna stick one piece of bark like on his head, kind of going down the back of his neck. Just, just, okay. just play along. Ibby's gonna be like, okay, master, <laughs> Close enough. or Vale, or whatever he calls you, because I forget. Yeah, I'm pretty sure for the next eight hours you're calling me boss. Okay. After, after that we can go I, back to normal, but I think I think we're obligated at this point. All right, okay. I am. It's it's part of it's, it's part of the it's part of the cover up. Don't worry about it. Also, I'm probably gotcha. running low on time at this point. So uh, places, everyone. Ah, damn, I was about to say the rest, but okay. And then I am going to turn around and I'm going to yell out. Hey guys, I think I figured out at least a part of it. The the tree, I mean. I don't I don't know. I, I can't really do anything else with it, but I got like a little to work. Hey Electra, where did the pita chips go? Okay. And then okay, the, uh, <laughs> I want to say go ahead. As soon as I grab pita chips, I will um Okay. I will move them. Do you want me like raise up like a zombie or just stand up normally okay you, you saw how those last guys with the bark on them acted just do that yeah go to uh, <laughs> okay yeah, bark deck just just do that bark deck all right yeah bark deck. i like this <laughs> Joseph, can you change Godak's name to Barkdak? I, if anybody like pops in for a quick sec, I want them to notice that. <laughs> uh, change it. Yeah. Uh, oh, what was it? Oh, I'm gonna. The, the, no, change, change yeah, I want to know the Barkdak, formerly known as Godak. <laughs> All right, I'll just change it. Pretty great. Okay, I, I changed my deck. name too. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Undercover Boss. <laughs> okay, so George and Larry. Wait. Bark and I am Bark no, Dak. You are. Demon. Oh, I was gonna say, uh, Bark Dak, uh, Treehouse Sapling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I am Bark Dak. Okay, so George and Larry are gonna come up to you and say, "What's up, boss?" All right. So, th this worked a little sooner than I thought. Um, so I got that to work, and I'm gonna point at the two, uh, Barky boys over there. Godak's look, gonna look, do his look, best. Look, we're already making headway. So let's look! The... George and Larry are gonna be like, Oh, that's pretty cool! How'd you figure out so quickly? Honestly... I'm not sure. And, and then all of a sudden Veil will be like, but I think if you just, and then he'll go on on this like really complicated thing that you're not even sure it actually sounds like, like, like magic formula, but it still really secretly is, but he's not actually describing like how bark or anything works. He's really just describing like half animate dead, half mage armor, and just kind of being magic. like, eh, close enough. 
this will probably work on them. They don't know magic anyways. And he, <laughs> yep. Vale is going spend, to... Like, the um, next 20 minutes explaining that. Hold up. Also, he vale, makes a point presentation. Wait. Can vale, you somehow really, make that 30 minutes? Vale, vale, roll a one, vale, roll a 1d60. Uh, 1d60? Yep. Uh, okay. Slash, oh, one, six, uh, is that? Oh, okay. You take 34 minutes explaining. Okay. Wait. David, can I do something? <laughs> In those 34 minutes, can you say Godak was meditating? So he hit his key yes. points. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, key points. Uh, I will I will spice up my PowerPoint presentation by casting some digitation and illusory script here and there to make images and words <laughs> show up on the wall kind of like that, kind of like it's projecting on the wall <laughs> that um that you're going to turn into the that sign you're going to turn into that like sign into the they're what? glaring intensely into the what the science the science oh, that one? glaring intensely and like numbers and words and oh, symbols are going to fly i can see the matrix <laughs> so and yeah so yeah, so that that's how I did it. All clear? Okay. They're just gonna kind of look at you blankly. <laughs> All right, nice, good meeting. <laughs> Mark deck. Now, uh, I, if you don't mind, uh, later on, whenever you guys get a chance, maybe during your coffee break or something, uh, make sure you um, leave your reviews of our first meeting in the uh, review box, and while you're at it, uh, don't forget to leave any suggestions you have in the suggestion box. Also, first suggestion, uh, one of you to make a suggestion box, and a review box, and also a table to put it on. But later, not right now. <laughs> we have business to do right now. We can do that, I don't know, tomorrow or something. We have a lot to do tomorrow, and today. We should probably get moving. Let's go, and then I'm going to start moving. <laughs> okay. Screw this wizard crap, can I just be an undercover boss for the rest of the game? Yes. <laughs> you know what, depending on what we how we oh, treat wizard George, boss. that might work. <laughs> See, normal wizards throw fireballs, I throw paperwork at you. Oh no. Say Bell, good job. Make it last even longer next time, then I can probably get some health back. I... That... Just come on. Okay. And then I am going to uh, start making my way out, and I'll be like, hmm, hmm. You know, that last guy had all of his uh, bark men with some extra stuff. Maybe there's some. Do you guys think there's something in here we could give to him? I might make him a little more useful. They're gonna say sure. Um. Godak, you can get all of your stuff back, except for... Oh. My money? No, you can, keep, you can keep your money. You didn't have a lot of money. Did they take my damn jewel? <laughs> no, they didn't. Okay, cool. lose your However, you lose your quarter staff and your darts. Aw, oh, man. And in the back before everyone was kung fu fighting, which is actually half of your inventory because you don't have a lot. So <laughs> yeah. yeah. So when I said you get to keep everything, I mean to I meant to say you get to keep nothing except for you know gold. <laughs> so I'm just barehanded right now. Not even my spear. Um, you are gonna find your spear it's... staff got burned with the fire explosion. I lost my staff. Yeah. Only my staff was special. It was a staff of bird calls, and now it's gone. And it was cool and fun, and didn't do much, but it was fun. And now it's. Now it's gone. Nah, I can always remake a spear, but as long as I got my dad, well, I'll be happy. Um, yeah, I guess you're gonna find a, uh, you find a short sword you can hey. use, but... Yeah, uh, take it. We, we okay. take those. You have a, you have a short sword now. It's really hot. You burn yourself the first time you pick it up. You're gonna drop it. I like how that yeah, short sword is again. also equally as powerful as your fist. Like, yep. It's like not even any better. It's exactly the same. Not even. Yep. I shall name the sword. This Bark Deck is saying this in the head. Tree fire. Tree fire. Tree oh, no. fire. Uh, Vale will kind of lean over and whisper it in your ear. 
Name it Bark Bane. Bark. Wait. But I'm Bark, so why would I have the Bane because against me? Because it turned you when you dropped it when you first touched it. Also, I'm your boss and you do what I say. Okay, alright, Bark Bane it is. Yeah, yeah, I get used to this. Godak has now charisma his way in three characters. Good job. <laughs> Good job, Vale. <laughs> Wait, I did what? Godak is taking it as it is right now. He's still horribly I confused. To do what into what? Charisma his way through three people. Oh, yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> Hold on. Should have been, <laughs> been a bard. Scroll up. Should have been a bard. Hold on, I need a give me give me a sec. No, not send to. That this makes me want to go back to that campaign where that Joseph was leading, where you were bard. Oh god, we, I'm we telling might. you, dude. I almost played oh, a bard in this campaign, and if I was a bard and doing the exact same thing I'm doing now, it'd be like the same. Only I'd be twice as good at it. Yeah. I mean, well, okay, the spell save DC would be about comparable but like if it didn't work i could you know bluff better like if he didn't suck at it in his intelligence check i could have you know done stuff with that but you know so it would have been like it, it wouldn't have changed anything at the moment but it would have been a better like fail safe i should say but anyways hmm excellent i love a well-equipped employee fun f uh Fun, fun tree fact number 47, you guys. Mm -hmm. Trees really like it when their underlings are well-equipped to protect them. The more you know. I guess I go over and offer my hand to the two bugbears and say, Hello, I'm Bark Dak. <laughs> Thank you. I hope we can work well together. <laughs> Larry is going to look at you and just be like, man, this k day keeps getting weirder and weirder. Ah, <laughs> oh, trust me, man, it's going to get even weirder. Like, first I opened a book and it exploded, and then this magical dude that I thought was my enemy said he no. wasn't, and then he was some sort of magical agency, and then, and then, and then you, you look like you just have bark glued onto you, but apparently that's magic now. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> Dude, don't, don't even get me started. I, don't even get me started. I, I, I don't, I barely understand magic as it is, and I, I, I don't get it. I honestly don't. Yeah, like, you're made out of magic, and you don't understand how, but you know, I'm dumb, because I'm dumb. I don't, I can't use magic, because I'm dumb. Man, good thing uh, we have yeah. Good thing we have. Oh, hey, by the way, what was your name, boss man? Mine. My yes. name. Yes. Uh, yes. You. You may call me. Wriggle door. What? Wriggle door. <laughs> you. Riggle you door. may call me. Hold, hold on. I'm. I'm like. I'm on the cusp of a really good name. I'm like. It's like on the tip of my tongue. Give me Wait. a sec. Shh. Just, just hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, what, what's the word? Electra. No, Electra's not the name. <gasps> oh, wait. I think I got one. You make... I don't know if I want to say the Overseer or, like... Or like Arch no, dude, make yourself Arch Donald Arch Trump. Commuter. Yeah. Oh, no. my God. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you may call me... I am Trumposaurus Rex. <laughs> Tyrannosaurus Flex, and I, I flex really hard. Uh, David, David, I, I, I want your input. Should I say, should I tell them to call me the Overseer or like the Arch Communer or something? <laughs> what do you think is cooler? Like, one's like more tree related, and one's a Fallout reference. Hmm. I'll go with the tree related one, right. Arch Communer. Y you you may call me your new Arch Communer. And then he's gonna look he's gonna say, Cool. He's gonna look back at Godak and be like, This is why we have the Arch Communer. He understands magic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude, but hey, hey man. He understands magic and we just hit things. Am I right? 
and he pulls out a fist bump. I'm gonna make a roll. Larry's gonna fist bump you. <laughs> he's, gonna, yeah. he's gonna look at you and be like, "Wait, what? What did we just do?" Oh, uh, it's a fist bump. Never knew that. Uh, Vale is going to. I would like and say you can explain it to him. While the GM would like to remind would like to remind Godak that I'm pretty sure fist bumps were explained differently to him than, than everybody else. like. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure Godak should have somewhere in his player journal exactly what a fist bump means to him, please. <laughs> please look back into your notes and see if you have exactly what a fist bump means to Godak. <laughs> remember, you're not sure if fist bumps... No, 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 remember when we did it that one time, I wasn't high enough to realize that it was magic. Oh yeah, oh, that's, that's right, was it, that, was it was that magic. Time. Fist bumps are magic, you must the orc. <laughs> I mean, to the bugbear, that this is like your form of magic. Fist bumps are my like, form. like commoner magic. <laughs> no, this is like commoner. No, no, not commoner magic. Friendship magic. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, ladies. Walking and talking. We got a busy day ahead of us. Let's get a move on. And I explained to him all of the fist on why fist bump are friendship magic. It's friendship magic. The best kind of magic. All right. Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna look uh, between uh, George and Larry. Uh, which one of you two is uh, which one of you two wants to take point? George's gonna say it's a, that'll do it. He's gonna walk ahead a little bit. He's gonna say, "Hey, boss, this is a wall." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I I can tell. I really wish it wasn't a wall. We should we should uh we should renovate this place later. I'll I'll, I'll just put that on the list. Uh, yeah, we got a punching bag. I then hand Larry a piece of paper. Larry, put it on my list. <laughs> Larry's gonna start a list. <laughs> also, uh, be really cryptic whenever you write anything on it, and also title the list "the list." So if some random person reads it, they have no idea what it is. It'll really throw them for a loop. Also, you can write, right? What do you mean? Something to write with? Here, have something to write with. I give him something to write with. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Well equipped employees. My favorite. Now, come on, people. Okay, we're coming on. Yeah, uh, keep on keeping on. Okay, there's. Alright. Alright. Alright, I'm not gonna lie. I did a goof. I didn't realize both of those walls were walls. Uh, Larry, add, <laughs> add, add to my list, add to the list, uh, renovate both walls. You know what, I just realized I need to... Larry... Larry is gonna think that a thing for a second. Oh. And... Oh, I, he's gonna I, be like, it, oh, Larry's sorry. gonna think for Larry's gonna think for a moment. He's gonna be like, hmm, have to be cryptic. He's gonna write down wall the renovate. <laughs> Dude, I am so sorry right now, guys. I honestly thought we were workshopping everything. I didn't know there was we're going. Oh, wow, what a what a what a nerd! <laughs> Thinks that this is all being worked up. Gosh, man. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> Why did I buy this expensive map? If we were just gonna workshop it. <laughs> I know. I... <laughs> what did you do? Think we were gonna tear the wall down right then and there? Maybe. Dude, at this point, I've got, uh, I've got about seven hours left on suggestion, dude. Now is not the time. Yep. Uh, okay. Actually, I lied. It's more like six and a half. I guess I don't know. I All the conversation know. goes. Bark Dak asks George and Larry, So, what's life like as a bugbear? Hey, did you guys know there was a table in there? Larry's gonna, Larry's gonna look at you. <laughs> and he's gonna say, It can be, sometimes it can be pretty hard to bear. 
George is gonna look at is gonna look at then gonna walk up to you and say, "Yeah, it can be a real bugger sometimes." You know what? <laughs> Bart Beck's gonna fist bump them both. Puns. There you go. We need puns. You're gonna be on the pun team. Ain't that right, boss? I would like to congratulate Vale from turning two ferocious beasts into like like normal everyday office workers. <laughs> this is just this is just another episode of The Office. Basically. <laughs> No, just nobody realizes it yet. Guys, what is the greatest skit on in the office? My vote right now is still on the uh, whole hentai one, okay, which so, still kills me to uh, this day. Full disclosure: haven't seen the office. Okay, but you know the one I'm talking about. It's like the boss comes out, try to the entire episode is basically about how he's trying to make his black employee feel accepted. It's like, but say, oh yeah, man, we accepted your love, and he was trying to look like, oh, what files are you looking at? And the um, boy was trying to hide his files, and he accidentally knocks him down. All the, all over the files, there's just nothing but hentai. And I don't he remember just that. Up, he just cut to the black guy saying, it's hentai. It's art. <laughs> and I have never more identified with a man in my entire life until that very moment. <laughs> I don't remember that episode, but I've seen every episode of The Office. No, nah, because I think it was a band thing because of hentai. Or maybe mm -hmm. you just blocked it out from your subconscious. Let me see. Uh, Larry, add to the list bad bugbear puns. It's art. <laughs> Wait one sec, I'm going to see if I remember this. <laughs> Uh, David, I will pull out the, uh... One moment. Okay. I'm having an important moment. I've never more identified with a man. <laughs> I don't know how I forgot about that. I think whatever it was, I think they must have just like done something completely different whenever I was watching it. Cause I honestly don't remember that. I don't know, man. I just remember seeing it. Died. I just died. It's like no. That's pretty great, though. <laughs> so anyways, David, the I was will show. pull out the Candle of Continual Flame. The can Candle of Continual Flame no longer exists. What do you mean it no longer oh. exists? Yeah, it doesn't exist anymore. We don't have it. Mm -hmm. When you say we don't have it, it wasn't in the pile either? No. It just doesn't exist. How does it it just exist? doesn't exist. Oh well, my bad. Yeah, tables. Those are tables. Um, the candle no, sorry, guys. was destroyed. What in the nope. fire book explosion? Yes, it was melted. It was made out of. Box. <laughs> so, so that means that. Okay, that's a really weird image, because. Does that mean that there's a continual flame spell tied to a puddle of wax in that pile? I mean, it doesn't burn anything. Like, the, 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 the continual flame spell specifically says it doesn't burn anything. It only causes light. But, like, does that mean that there's just a little wax puddle with a little fire tip sitting on it down I there? I suppose so. <laughs> well, wow. then in, well, in that that's... case, I... I would have noticed that. So in that case, um, I will actually say, ooh, uh, okay, so problem. Um, I don't know if you guys have What's heard of them, but um, there's these things called shadows, not the ones that normally follow you around, but the ones that abnormally follow you around, and they try to kill you, and it's really bad for business, 
and because I want our bonus in the next month to be really high, uh, I like to increase sales by at least 120%. I think we can really do it if we really get the ball rolling, but these shadows are going to be a problem, and the best way to keep them away is light. Lots and lots of light. So, you guys, I'm going to point at the three of you, I need all of you to go, I don't know, make a torch or something. Okay. Um, I mean, I... they're going to go back in the room. They're going to, like, grab. One second. And I guess go to Mark that goes help some, Here, just, help them out. Just get me a couple thick branches, and I'll take care of it. I'll call down the room, hallway, whatever. So they're going to start tearing limbs off of the tree in order to get some fire well, um, three twig blights are going to come out. And... Un momento. Poor, poor Do we roll this year? No. <laughs> I shall tell you. Oh, wait. No, don't want that. I just don't need this. I shall tell you what happens. Can we just pull up his arm? <laughs> I mean, but hey, I'm gonna I borrow. Mean, I'm gonna borrow yeah. slash. I'm not. I'm, take your arm and light it on fire, buddy. That's gonna miss. Oh wait, I don't need to. I need to move him first. Boop, boop. Okay. That's gonna miss. That's gonna miss. Bugbear, you gonna go? Bugbear gonna swing. That's it, or is that a miss? I that's a miss. Yo, this is can, on. can I swing? Or is it even point? Is it, or is it pointless? That's gonna kill. No, oh, yeah, you can go. You can go. You can attack. Yeah. Sure. I mean, these are these are these are attacking y'all. I mean, <laughs> okay. Here we go. More. Bark Dak makes his bark attack. That's a bark attack. Oh, it's super effective. But but bark yeah. deck, what's worse, your bite or your bark? Ah, uh, they're about Ooh. equal. Oh. What? Well, well, that was damage. No, so that's I'm dead, pretty right? sure your bite is worse than your bark. Yep. Or better, whatever. Twiggy boy is gonna make one last attempt. Uh, I was gonna uh, say, wait, hold on, I want to move. And then nope. Larry is gonna. Larry's gonna try to bonk. Good job, Larry. Larry kills. Yeah. Good job, team. Yay! Alright, now let's harvest their corpses for wood. David, I have a question. You get some really big sticks. Yeah? Were those skeletons and these twigs worth XP? Ah, oh, dang it, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna gain. Um, you're gonna gain thirty experience. Fail. All right. And go, same thing for me too. No. You're okay. gonna gain twenty. You get. Uh, no, actually, I'm sorry, Vale. You get fifty experience, and Godak, you get twenty five. Okay. All right. Nice. Twenty five. <clears throat> Hey, you guys almost level up time. Sticks? <laughs> uh, we find more than sticks. Yeah, but did you get the sticks? Yeah, we did. All right, good. We got some pretty big sticks. Your job's done. You guys, can, uh, you guys can come give me the sticks now. Gotcha. Do we just question when a twig blight dies? Does it just still stays together? Does like a, become like piles of sticks? It kind of stays together. I guess we just rip off an arm. Okay. You all rip off an arm, <laughs> and you return with the arms of these. Guys, I don't know. I feel kind of weird doing that, man. That was like my people. Your your people are weird. Anyways, Ow. all right, here, uh, all of you, hold the tips of your sticks together, and I'll kind of like grab the edges of the ah. sticks and make them all like go on the same point, and then I'll yes, we are the three and press the flame on them. All for one and one for all. 
There we go. Three torches. Uh, don't use them all in one place, even though we're all in one place right now. All right. Now let's go. Park deck. Park deck away. I am the half orc formerly known as Bark Deck. The half orc formerly known as. <laughs> the Bark Deck formerly known as a half orc? Wait. Ah, um, yeah, I think I messed it up. Foop. Foop. Um. Bark deck, he's doing his bark dance. Bark deck. And let's see where. Wow, this. This is. going pretty well. Also, David, I know it didn't matter, but I do still have the statue effect going on. <laughs> Because it's it's been um, yeah it's, it's only just now coming up on three hours out of the twenty four of that. Yep, I am aware of that. What effect? Oh, I'm like really good at charisma stuff because mystic statue thing. No. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, mystic statue thing is super weird. Okay, um, everybody make a perception check. Oh no. And I gotta pull this guy up. Eh, not good. Uh, who rolled a 22? Ibis. Yo, Ibis, my man. So, um, George and Larry are gonna start moving forward, and Ibis is gonna be like, those oh. shadows. They have two shadows! Veil! Veil! They each have two shadows! <laughs> what's going on? Uh, Quick! Go to say, what's going on? Ibis? Little Jimmy fell down a well? Okay, hey, you remember those shadows I told you about? Yeah, you have two of them. One of them's evil. Figure out which one. Oh no. Uh, specifically oh, no. that one. The one trying to kill you. Kill it quicker. Hold up, and then they are going to each attack. Dang. That's gonna fail. Oh no. That isn't though. <laughs> okay, so, um David question. These yes. torches didn't help at all. No, they didn't. Can I use the torch as a weapon against the shadow or that even work? You can try, but I don't I'm not sure if I like your odds. I don't okay. really like your I, I would just like to remind you, um, breaking break, break in the fourth wall here, the reason that the orb of a, of the sunlight was so effective is because it just, like, banished any darkness. <laughs> like, <laughs> it, it banished okay. darkness to a point that a simple torch couldn't. Like, it, it couldn't really compare. Yeah, oh, okay. I was hoping three so torches am... together would at least do something, though. So right now, unfortunately, no. right now I'm effectively useless. So what'd you say? Punch it. Right now I'm useless. Punch? Oh, will my punches work? You punch everything. I guess I'll punch it. Do we need a roll for okay. initiative or something, David? Uh, if you want to, you can. I mean, I feel like we have to. Yeah, sure. Roll for. Initiative. We'll pull up some epic battle music. And I won't listen to it. <laughs> Dang. I, no, Joseph, I will you listen to it. <laughs> I was listening to your music. I'm, I throw the most musical things. Oh, nice. Well, Good job, Shadow. Man, the one that's eating the one bugbear right now, he's having a good time. Just roll three times. Oh. Bugbears. Okay, so the uh, the bugbear. Let me minimize this. You dude. should change their names to Larry and George. 
<laughs> Do it, David. He did. No, I can't. Oh. I can't change. Oh, on that. I can't, okay, name. I can't change their names on the character sheet. Oh, you can't. It's a universal change. It's a universal change. Every single bugbear would now be named Larry. I <laughs> failed to see the problem with that. Yeah, man. When I saw that, I see that. Larry is going to throw an attack. And... Let me see. Ah... Uh, He's going to eat. Let me one second. I gotta look at something. Okay, I see. Oh, I get it. Okay. I mean, I don't think shadows are even physically capable of wearing armor, are they? No. I don't shadows. Know. So it's like. They okay. Like next. Next is um. Neat. Go. No, Joseph, you're no. next. All right, I grab my spear and we'll shank a shadow with the spear. Let's see how that you goes. I don't have the spear anymore. Pretty good. Oh, I don't have the spear. Okay. Pretty well. I guess I'll I'll stab it with the sword because Godag doesn't really want to shank a shadow. All right. Well, no. and then Godag's gonna go get over his fear and do a kick, trying to stomp it. Step on the shadow. Okay. Eh, eh, die. Yeah. And there we go. Ah! Okay. They take half damage, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. Okay. The, the uh, boss man will then be like... Hey, I will say, though, as your sword pass, your sword is going to slice into the shadow, and like the shadow is just going to... Warp around it. It's gonna look like it didn't do anything. Hog, I, I don't think this is how it works. What do you say, Godak? Oh no, Godak, Godak's gonna be like old, uh, Racky. Hey, do that thing where you can hit him an extra time. Key point. Okay, let's go. Key point. Flurry blows. Use it on. Good point. Everything Good else point. in this place to... is dead, but these guys. Good point. Alright, here we go. One more hit. Yeah. Oh. Dang. <laughs> See? Let's go! This is why 3D. you do what your boss says. 3D, 3D sticks, here we go! Still kicking. How much damage is that gonna... So... I'd yeah, like, like to kicking. say I'll go for one final stop to try to snap its... Shadowy neck. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna. The shadow is gonna look considerably weakened, though. Okay, who is next? <laughs> ah, crap! I should have wrote everything down. I did. I, I failed to write everything next. down. It's it's Nico's yeah. turn. Next. Um. Okay. First, uh, I'm gonna have Ibis try and. Claw that one. Bob. Bob and Weaver. Is that 15? That hits. Okay. The shadow disappears. Boo, 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 boo. Yeah! And then go, go! I am going to uh, step around just to try and, you know, get kind of like. Not that you can really surround a shadow, but to, like, try and surround a shadow. And then... Mm -hmm. Oh, as you shift over to the side, Godak and Ibis need to roll Perception. Oh, no. Uh, 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 hold uh, on, let me swap the dice back. Uh, oh, my bad. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Can we count to 13 so I have 18? Mark Deck has successfully perceived the tree dimension. <laughs> can we count to 13 so I can say I have 18? Ibis is going to freak out again, Vale, and he's going to tell you that your shadow, you have two other shadows. He's going to point them out to you. Seriously? Oh, no. Seriously? Mm hmm. Alright, I'm, I'm just going to I'm gonna turn around to, to that one, the one I'm looking at. And I'm just gonna be like, you yep. seriously, dude? The fuck, bro? 
not cool, man. I'm on the clock right now. And then, uh, I'm going to cast a Radiant Magic Missile on him. Okay. Well, I think this is why we need... So 30, I think we need to hire, like, someone to come. Radiant Damage, please. Pretty sure that kills, right? Yep. The shadow disappears. Wait, 13? That kills it? Okay. Well, remember, you guys are doing, like, half damage or some shit. Yeah, so, so, you know. Uh, and then after I blow him away, I'll just be like, that's what you get for lowering my sale percentages. <laughs> and then and then the HUD will update. Yeah, Workplace efficiency increased by 5%. Yeah. Okay. The um shadow that was unrevealed previously is now going... Wait, is that right? One second, I gotta double check. Uh... Oh god, not these Yeah, things. the shadow that was previously unrevealed is now going to go. And it's not going to hit. Uh, who is going to hit that? That's that, that's that quite literal 5% workplace efficiency coming through. Oh no. The bugbear, however, is going to take some damage. Or Larry, oh, no. yeah. No, no, Larry! Larry, no! Not the cable guy. <laughs> and... Larry's strength is reduced by four. No! That's bad. That's a stat he actually has and uses. No, Larry. I know the feeling, my friend. Yeah, well, you're a dex fighter, so... <laughs> but I know what it feels like to lose one's muscle. <laughs> to lose one's okay. veins. Uh, I will tell George. George, get that one. He's the one that knows what he's doing. <laughs> Uh, you got George it, is. Also, I'm out of first level spell slots. Actually, I'm out of all my spell slots. <laughs> well, George, George misses. Yeah, yeah I, just, like, on I have a feeling this is going to be a very long, painful fight. <laughs> this is going to be a lot of oh, no. uh, tickle damage. Yeah, this is this is going to take some time. I have oh, a bad no. feeling. <laughs> Well, guess who's going to be skipping through his class tonight? Um, it is now top Larry? of the initiative again. Yeah, no, it's Larry's turn. I mean, if you just keep throwing flurry of blows, that'll speed up the chipping. Because, like, seriously, what else do we have to use them on? Any point. Yeah, I know. Larry's gonna miss. Wait. Wait, wait. Hey, boss, I think we need to do some shadow. Like, some it is now... Like it is now Godak's turn. Fairly. Godak? Godak does what he does before. Yeah, so, okay, so Larry, Godak, Vale, Shadows, George, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, no. I did it again. What are you doing? Also, that's a crit fail. I know. I rolled a one. Let's go. What happened? <laughs> I'm prop. This is when it's. This this is when it ends. Um. Does it still so? So what's gonna it... happen is that you're like throwing a punch at something on the floor. That's something that's like kind of lowered on the floor right now. So yeah, you're gonna you throw the punch. The you're gonna like lose balance and you're gonna fall on the ground. <laughs> you're prone. Right. Is my turn over, or can I use my movement to stand? And and now Godek uses half you can of use his an... movement to stand back up. Uh, I think he has to use an action to stand up, no, right? That's not yeah, how, that's not how prone works. Get, we getting, up? Up, getting up from being prone is just like rip half your movement. I I know that you can use an action to get, but you, I forget. you you can use an action if you want, but. Like, why would you do that when you can kill half your movement when you don't need to move? Good point. 
Also, he technically already used his action anyways, so he'd have to do that regardless. Because his action was punch. It actually doesn't... I don't see anything on it, whether or not... I'll say that's fine. I say you can use all stand to become okay. not prone. Alright, I stand up like, oh no. Um, Didn't mean um, to do that. Joseph, you <laughs> can I spend now. the key point to attack twice? Sure. Also, okay. switch your dice back. I did. I did. I got it fixed. <laughs> Things are good now. See? Things are good. Why are you rolling 3d20? Yeah, that's gonna hit. Because he, he <laughs> I, 3d6 you know, I got it saved. crit, and then he swapped this d6 to a d20, but didn't swap the 3 to a 1. Yeah. I see. There we go. Uh, that's a punch. Another one. Okay. <laughs> Another one. It's. Yeah. You you deal sixteen uh, bark damage. Which what half or half of that's like eight so. Huh. Unfortunately, shadows have resistance to bark damage, or something like that. <laughs> They're resistant to the bark. It is now Vale's turn. Vale, uh, burn him alive! Uh, I'm just going to turn to this guy and be like, Alright, so y you saw what I did to the last guy? Well, uh, listen, buddy. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull out a... a, a piece of paper that doesn't even have anything written on it. L look it over for a second. Uh, push up the glasses that I don't have on the bridge of my nose. Just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, it seems to me that you've been skipping out on our deal. Uh, I believe you were supposed to give us some goods in that last shipment that we did not receive, and when we called your office, uh, we were not given some very good... I don't know if I'd call it customer service, but... You know, it just, your people are really bad, and I'm going to have to ask you to please leave. I'm also shocking grasping him. <laughs> okay. Oh, freaking alarm. <sighs> Go away. So, like, if you could if you could do me a favor and take eight shocking damage and then uh, no longer be in my establishment, please, uh, our deal's off. I'm cutting off all business ties with you. Uh, also, I really think you should reevaluate your uh, business position. You, you guys have some serious problems you could work on. There's a little bit of potential still in there. Maybe do some rebranding. <laughs> okay, it's not a shadow's turn. <laughs> <laughs> he spends his next turn rebranding. <laughs> you, you really, you really gotta work on that image, man. Like, come on. That's going to hit Vale. Ow. Oh, no. Your oh, no. image, not mine. Dick. Oh no, the boss. That's not gonna hit Larry. Good job, Larry. You're not dead. <laughs> <laughs> but you lost four strength. And you lose three strength, fail. A lot like that mattered in the first yeah, place. Yeah, that, that didn't mm. really matter. That's like, <laughs> that mattered in the first place, but it's, it's gonna be like you get consequential at the moment at Ross, least. You look really skinny. Like you were, you were skin and bones already. Bone and skin. That's not how that works. I wish Shut it up. didn't. I, I wish it didn't explain like if a non-evil -hum humanoid dies from this attack, a new shadow from the corpse so 1d4 hours later. Okay. So, so wait, 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 wait. So if you're evil, your shadow doesn't rise? Yeah, which is kind of weird, right? Because, yeah. I, I guess because the shadow can't, like, infect you because you're already infected with darkness. You are darkness. You are dark. Shouldn't that be, yo, we will use shadow as a weapon. Here comes Georgie. Yeah, Georgie. Nice, Georgie. I, okay. I still really like how he's a gardener. <laughs> okay, I, it I is... I feel like George tends to tulips. Probably has... He has a garden of tulips. It is now Larry's turn. Uh, 
Oh, that's gonna crit. <laughs> hey, that's look. A... Finally, hey, when, look. when they got the crit on the side we needed when we needed it. Good Let's job. See. I never thought I'd so... be so glad to see a bugbear land a crit. That damage isn't what it what it says it is, though. Maybe it actually only board. deals. What? I mean, twenty-one and a half is like 10? ten, eleven, depending on rounding. Yeah, no, it's actually only gonna deal ten damage. That's, I mean, that's considering what we're fighting. That's pretty good. And it is now Godak's turn. Well, here we go. It's the go of the deck, seeing his friend getting attacked by a shadow. No, I know this nope. pain. I'll save you, Val. That hits. Here we go. D6. Yeah. Very well done. Here we go. Is it dead? Is no. it dead? No. Oh. Oh. Well then, keep going. <clears throat> there we go. That's it. Nope. Th nope, doesn't hit. Do Final any... key point. I was gonna say, do you have any key left? How much key do you have left? None. Now. What? Doesn't hit. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. I tried. He was juking. But I just, just I just like to imagine going. I just stopping on the floor, trying to kill some bugs. <laughs> Oh, wait, I'm stepping on my own shadow. <laughs> oh, wrong shadow, Dark Deck. Oh. Sorry. And that ends my turn. I'm going to lower your pay for that. <laughs> you it's Vale's turn. Go Vale. Shocking grasping him again. And I'm also lowering your pay down to zero. Oh shit. Because you're gonna be dead! Ha! Fucker. Alright, I'll get that guy. <laughs> nah. What type of damage does Ibis deal? Uh, it's either piercing slashing. or damaging. Oh, is it, wait, is it slashing? Let me check. Because uh, it's claws, right? Uh, oh, it did again. Thing, oh, yeah, it's slashing damage. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay, who's, uh, it is now the oh. Shadow's turn. Yeah. Oh, no. That was a pretty, yeah, new boy. that was a really low roll. <laughs> The shadow is going to turn to Vale. You've now killed two shadows. The shadow's going to turn over to you, and he's going to attack. Oh, it doesn't hit. And then it is going to make a roll. It is going to disappear. Fucking shadows. Man, I really. But I'm going to roll, run to the boss. Say, boss, boss. You're right, man. No. No. Everyone, book it! Come on, let's go! <laughs> and I, and at this point, we are full speeding ahead, running, not stopping to look at anything. We're not stopping for anything. Just run, just run, just keep running, keep following me, just keep going. Come on, come on, let's go, 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 go. Uh, but, but aren't I fat? Okay. And go ahead book me, but he's technically faster than everyone. <laughs> I'm not talking about the bugbears. We're what not going to move that. Okay, Maybe so. you can move as fast as... Go, 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 ding, ding, ding. Wait, oh, wait oh, up? wrong way, that way, go that way, this way. Uh. Oh, stop. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um. As you all, uh, y'all are going to be running, the goblin is going to like hear something coming, so he's going to be kind of like turned around and slightly prepared for you running straight on into him and the boss music is going to play come on dude Ooh. we gotta go you don't understand this is not a time for chit chat we'll explain what's on the itinerary later for now we just gotta go yeah george larry tell him that because this be goblin right it's just a bugbear what bugbear's be goblin right 
Yes. But, but, but that guy doesn't speak common, so I'm talking for nothing. Oh shit! Yeah, so, George, Larry. Um, he doesn't translate. Speak. Mini translation. He. Uh, one of you two. We're translate, international... please. One second. I need to pull something up. Godak's gonna have flashbacks in his day of retail of people getting mad at him for not speaking Goblin. So you're gonna find this goblin in one hand, he's gonna have like Have a what? Just a handful of like stuff. It looks like he had been going through this place looking for stuff that he could take with him. Okay. He's gonna kinda like let out a little bit of a shriek. Uh, and then he's going to swipe at Veil. And then everyone is going to roll an issue. God damn it. Why me? Because you were in front. <laughs> you were in front. But he didn't listen at all. <laughs> well, we got to bop people. One second. I'm actually going to write down initiative this time so I don't lose track. <laughs> it's just the one goblin, multiple. I mean, I only see one. My was so... really bad. What? And it was like, it was bad. It was just okay. It was like, it took the party like a week to kill just one goblin. It it took a while. So that's going to be go back. back. Yeah, go back. All right. Uh, George is gonna. Godex, Bark Dex is gonna pass by George and Larry and say, Hey, do we? Do you mind if I, you know, eh, this goblin? Or do you want to keep him alive? Um, the bugbear is going to say they attacked, um, whatever the. I forget what the. The arch dude. <laughs> so yeah, you can attack like, him. Ow, arch okay. communer, thank you. Godex is gonna go run, jump and kick to the face. <laughs> Oh wait, the na his name isn't Bugbear, it's Larry. <laughs> Sorry, Larry. <laughs> well, that's a kick to the face. Not for the kick to the face damage. Ha! The flying Five. kick of very poor destiny. <laughs> very poor destiny. And then he's gonna come back with the punch of hopefully good destiny. Hopefully good destiny is really good destiny. Nope. It ain't. Oh no, wait, oh, oh it is 15, my bad. Okay. Oh yeah, I haven't found a goblin. Okay. Yeah. No, you've been fighting goblins. Come on, you know their AC is. What are you talking? <laughs> I, I, I like how you said you like know week. their AC <laughs> is, and then it cut out, and then it came back and said, "What are you talking about?" Well, I've been I haven't played for like what two weeks? A week? Uh. Day. Okay. The Two's goblin right. is gonna swing his scimitar at you, Godak. All right. What does he do? Oh he yeah, that's it. Oh eight. no. Restless oh, endurance. <laughs> no, nope, restless endurance, my boys. Wait, can you do that right. after a short rest or after a long rest? No, good point. What do you want me to say? <laughs> you want to say that I'm down or to have one? Uh, you haven't had a long rest, so. Unless you get it back on a short rest, you can't use it yet. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Uh, nope. Yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm down. Down for the count. Okay. Sorry, I was gone. Ah, been, so wait, what is what is reckless endurance? Reckless no, endurance rest, I'm down. lets him live okay. on one HP, but it's a one time <laughs> long rest. rest thing. Yeah, That's I'm what I thought. Down. Okay. It's a half orc rate. You're not down for the count. Not when Barkat goes down, Vale's just gonna be like, "Come on, I just, I just <laughs> made this employee." I... <laughs> you lit. Yep. Yes, you did. That's true. He did. You didn't give me just a make this employee. Oh no! And I see more. Damn it. George, Larry, <laughs> avenge oh, no, your fellow this employee. Come this way too goddamn. Also, um, it is Larry's door. turn.
Oh, by the way, the goblin that's in the door isn't hasn't really noticed what's going on. He's kind of like grabbing stuff right now. Larry's gonna be like, he's gonna yell something out on what you perceive to be goblin, and then he's gonna make a whack. You hurt the boss. Now you must die. Dang, oh, come on, nice. Larry. <laughs> okay, Vale, it's it's your go. All right. Um. Yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna give him an all a little zippity zap, a bippity bap. Nope. Nope. Right. So, so we're gonna have Ibis attempt. Oh wait, do I still need him? Uh, yeah. Hold on. Let me move him around. There we go. Nope. That's also a moose. Okay. Well, that didn't work. George is gonna come over. He's gonna try to be the the uh, the carry of the group. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gonna he's gonna come over with his slishy slash and no. not hit. Oh my gosh! The <laughs> well, all right, here we go. You know what? Death saving throw time. All right. Um, the goblin seems directly offended at what um the bugbear yelled at him, so he's gonna take a swipe at the bugbear. Oh wow! Larry, no! Larry, no! Does that? Yeah, no, Larry's dead. <laughs> Larry's dead? <laughs> this one no. goblin! This one goblin has taken out a, a good chunk of the party so far. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, Godak, you need to make your death saving throw. Uh, that's a fact. Oh, no. Larry, no. Why are there goblins here? They're all supposed to be dead. Where do they keep coming from? Uh, the the DM would like to remind the pl pl the players that there were exactly four goblins left. Oh, were there four? Oh, so these are the last. And ones. okay, and well, and this is well, I guess this is how this ends. This ends. This is how the this is how the this is how the game ends. <laughs> okay. This one goblin kills. <laughs> this one goblin. This one goblin solos <laughs> all five of us. <laughs> Larry's dead, so he doesn't attack. Um, Vale, it's your go. Alright, we'll try again. Ibis. It hits! Hooray! Was that you or Ibis? It was him. Nice. Is it the hard? goblin dies. Alright. Yay! Are we still on initiative or are we out? You're still on initiative. Okay. Um... At the sound of the dying goblin is going to attract the attention of the other goblin. Yeah, uh, Ibis is now going to move out here. And then, oh, man. Uh, Wait, can Ibis make another attack? Oh, I know what no, you're he's doing. Not Never. Attacking. He's just moving. Okay. Yeah. And then I am going to move out here on the other side. And try and give him a shocky shock. Nope. 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 So, George is now going to run out. George, help. <laughs> and I'm all... I'll give you a I'm raise so and you through this. Two. Nope. He misses. Oh, we're just going to kill him. Okay, okay. George, by but... the way, if I don't make it, uh... Keep going to that way, and I'll point out at this door. The goblin is going to first saw Ibis leave, so he's going to take a swipe at Ibby. He's going to crit Ibby. <laughs> Ibby goes down. <laughs> oh, yes. You know, he had 5 HP. If that wasn't a crit, he still would have went down. <laughs> if it was just a regular hit, that first 5 would have done it anyways. Ibby falls to the ground. Um... It is now. No, it isn't turn. Larry's turn. Rip, Larry. Oh yeah, no, Godak. You're supposed to make your death saving throw. Sorry. Uh, uh, yeah. Nice. Go ahead and make Ibises. That's a fail. Yeah, and it's yeah, it is your turn. So. Shocking grasp. Hits. Oh oh oh! My bad. Takes I'm... damage. I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of give him like the iron claw, but it's more like the lightning claw. You, you know you know what I'm talking about? 
Mm-hmm. Alright, yeah, I was just gonna do one of those. Now, get him now, George. Now's your chance. While I'm oh, wow, while what I'm happened? Scrambling his brains. That hits. The goblin is like... Pul like, okay, so the sickle is gonna slice... They're gonna be flung up against the wall and like hit... And like, tr slowly drip down. <laughs> Man, I'm not liking how things are going. Okay. Okay. Jesus. Why? Are we still on initiative, George, David? George. George. Georgie. God, I'm giving you such a big ass fucking raise w once we get all this settled. George. George is gonna say, watch out, boss. There might be more, and he's gonna move forward. Uh, David, what do he's, I do? Wait, wait, wait. He was here. Like, he was here. So he's going to move to here. And he's going to say, there's another one. What? And he's going to run into here. Oh, God damn it. Right. Are we still in initiative? Uh, yes, but it is actually... The goblin misses a turn because he is currently surprised by George. Oh. It's go yeah, your good. turn, Godak. Uh, uh, no, no. Two failures and Two fa one success. Well, I guess this success. I guess that's all she wrote, guys. And then uh, let me make Ibis's death save. All right, so Ibby is one and one. Hey, at least Vale and Ib Ibby will make it out of here, right, Godak? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Uh, no. Barkdak is my favorite Godak transformation yet. <laughs> I don't know. And got Drunkdak and got Barkdak. Uh, so and then oh, I was gonna George is going to. George is going to murder the goblin. Oh. So, but what about uh, my turn? Oh, sorry. I forgot. Yeah, but, but let like, George uh, was, the goblin. Yeah, no, G Georgie can keep that role though. But I was just gonna, <laughs> I was just gonna ask. Um, can I? What were you going to do before? I was going before to, the goblin uh, dies. What were you going uh, to do? I don't think it. It depends. Can I tell? Um, what Barkdax? Uh, can I? Can, does it like from here? Can I tell if I just take a glance back that? If Barkdak looks like he's he doesn't. gonna be fine on his own, or does he look like he needs a hand? He right? doesn't look like he's gonna be fine on his own. All right, then nope. I'm gonna I'm gonna rush over to him and attempt to stabilize him. Okay, uh, you can just do that, right? Or how how does stabilization? Where we haven't had to check. Okay, but against uh, what? Uh, it's just a check. Well, I mean, like, you mean what do you have DC? to roll? I I honestly don't remember. Let me check real quick. Stabilize. Yes, you can. <laughs> you can use your first aid. Uh, a successful DC 10 wisdom medicine check. Oh no! Oh, I can't look. All right. Uh, that's not a 10. That isn't a 10. You fail. All right, and then the gobbo dies. <laughs> And then the gobbo is obliterated. <laughs> is absolutely right. shredded. George is going. Oh. To, George is going to walk back over to you. Oh no! A one more goblin is going to appear. Well, actually, you don't know what what's going on. Oh man! Do -do -do. Uh, I can't look. Do -do 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 -do. Okay. Oh, oops. Didn't mean to do that. But, yep. What? Was that his attack roll? Yep. My goblin? George, George is gonna yell, There's another one shooting at me! He just ducked behind a door. <laughs> Be careful, George. I believe it's your you. turn, Vale. Actually, Godak no. can make a death save. Oh. Godak has a chance to no. die. <laughs> no! 
<laughs> it turns out I was right, and shoving that bark was actually magic all along. The bark fuses with you, and you now have truly become bark. Oh! Bark. You, you now rise from rise from the ground. At oh. one with your new form, you have ascended. I fucking hate goblins. Bark deck, bark deck. Remember, we gotta keep up the act. Now, bug bears are cool. I, I, bug bears are. No, 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 I, no. I know, I know, but we just gotta keep up the act, dude. Also, also, um, could you help Ibis? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, um, uh, do I get to move? I mean, I think it's your so. Turn, dude. Or does my death save count as an action or no? No, it's just a thing that know. happens. So I think you're good to go. All right, so I'm gonna go. It's like uh, I don't know, Evis. Um, medicine check. Eh, wisdom. Be wise. Nope. Wait, no, wait. Let's succeed. Right? Da, 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 yeah. Da, yeah. Da, 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 da. Oh shoot! I so that's a one d four XP back. for the shadows, Rip. Oh, roll one d four. Wait, what'd you say, Vale? I forgot to do XP for the shadows. We just add, just roll add one... them up with the goblins after this fight, it'll be fine. You said just roll 1d4? Yeah. Well, someone what? needs to roll a 1d4. Right, four, four hours, hours. until they... Four hours until he's stable. Well, my bad. I mean, these are the few times he... And then roll one roll one. And then at that point, it is my turn. Yep. Alright, uh, so seeing that he's fine, I'm going to... Uh, peek out of here and then be like wait georgie wait don't go through that door yet just just uh hi hide behind something and get close but don't actually go out there yet i i, I have a feeling that you should not be the first one out there just go go like around the corner or something and and just stay at the ready Okay, George, is that going to be into your turn? Well, that's just what I'm telling him to do. I still got, okay. I still got stuff to do. I gotta. That's just. I'm. I'm just telling him to do that on. Uh, his okay. Turn. And then I'm going to action dash to get around uh, myself. Eh, movement. There we go. And then that's my turn. He'll come over here. Then, yep. What? Oh, he's taking a shot at me. Gotcha. What did you say? Is he, he's about to take a shot at me. Yeah, he is. Okay. Some long ass range. Oh, it's a strip off. Six sixty feet. Oh, there you go. Oh man, that's exactly Let's do it. sixty. Uh, well, yep, I'm down. Again. Damn. God damn it. I hate goblins. <laughs> I really do. I think we all hate goblins. Collectively. I actually managed to <laughs> run back too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Alright, is it... Wait, no, I can't go yet, Joseph. <laughs> Joseph. <laughs> Make a death saving throw. <sighs> You stabilized right. Ibis. That was the most important thing. <laughs> yep, and how bad is it? Yep, there we go. Back at it again. Hey, it's your boy Bark Dak back at it again with those failed death <laughs> saves. <sighs> so okay. first you have to kill this goblin, and then you have to run <laughs> back and stabilize back. him. <laughs> Alright, at this point I'm gonna yell, Georgie, now's our chance. Uh, David, please open the door. Wait, is it not? It's, it's I am sorry. Uh, I honest, I completely forgot that it wasn't open for y'all. I, <laughs> I should have spent the key point. Uh, wait, no. I... Three, four, no, five, six. That's more than 30 feet, I no, think. Yeah, one, one two, no, see, four, five, one, six. Two, three, four, five, six. 5 feet, 10 feet, 15... 
Okay, I guess if you're gonna count it that way, yeah, that's you, fine. You, I mean, doing a straight line like that doesn't work anyways. It's broke. No, yeah, no, that's not what I'm doing that, anyway. Diagonals count as one, dude. No, yeah, I know. Anyway, okay, you're good. So, yeah, I'm gonna try and shock and grasp. Well, that that, that, that succeeds. Whew. Thank you. Thank God. Well then. I'm I'm just gonna act, I'm just gonna start strangling him with lightning. Um, Will actually, the goblin just... think, the goblin isn't quite dead. Will you really? just fucking die already? <laughs> and and then I'm just gonna yell really loud. Why won't all these fucking goblins just die? <laughs> they keep trying to kill me and they won't <laughs> just die. The um, George is gonna come up though, and he's probably gonna finish him off let's see he's gonna yell something and goblin don't kill my oh, pig damn it, George. whatever he yelled the goblin is obviously more interested in the bugbear plot oh fuck oh no oh okay good phew Ooh. Uh, that was a close one i mean he probably would have lived a seven attack anyways but well he Maybe. He would have taken more damage, but he would have survived. <sighs> okay, it is now Godak. <laughs> no, I, 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 I like I don't want to roll. Oh, Whoop, oh. two fells! Uh, that's bad. That's not good. Nope! G give me a sec, Joseph. Okay. Well, That's going to oh, trigger no. an attack of opportunity. You're oh, going to, no. like, extend your hand, and the goblin's going to try to cut off, take a cut oh, out of your no. hand. Oh, I'm no. Succeed. All right, well, I'm at zero. Oh, no. I'm hoping all of my yelling gets the attention of the people above the well. That was kind of the point of that. Oh, damn it. Ah. That's why I tried yelling at the top of my lungs. <laughs> Hopefully it wakes someone up. <laughs> Um, it is George's turn. Georgie, av avenge me. <laughs> Georgie yes. avenges you. Oh, dude, George, can, can we make Georgie an official member of Avengers in Infinity War? Yes. <laughs> can he get like, he he gets like the the post credits uh, scene. That's it's just he deals George. the final blow. Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would... Just one shots Thanos after the rest of the you, um, down. How do you want to do this? This is that's a really good question. <laughs> I need to uh I need to decide how this is gonna how this is gonna Well happen. while you decide, I need a serious trip to the bathroom. Okay. Uh, nah, uh, man. You know I had hope and hope's kinda there, but no nah, nah, I still got hope. I hope. Things were looking good. And things got really bad because fucking goblins. <laughs> I think I, I would like to thank you, Godak, for listening to the music that I play and experiencing the emotions of the music along with me. <laughs> No, I know. I like the music. It's fun. Music is awesome. Me too. Yeah, I I like the music. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Um, you're probably not gonna do it, but it was fucking crazy. Okay, okay. Just playing the healing melody, which is not gonna happen. I'm back. <laughs> Has a decision been made? Yes, a decision was made. Oh, there we go. Hope it's in, it was uh, fun, go to. A um. Uh, a what? A what? One second, I have to. Oh wait, I already have. Haha. -ha. Uh. As you're slowly fa George is gonna lean over you, desperately to revive you, 
Vale, but he is going to be incapable of doing so. Um, because he just doesn't have the materials. Necessary. Like, he's trying, he's trying to see what, if he can, like, put pressure on something, but he just, he isn't succeeding. Meepo, uh, well, you're gonna hear sounds coming from the well direction, and down the lines are going to slide Meepo and the two kobolds. Meepo is going to, uh, they're all going to step forward, because kind of having a hard time seeing they're going to see um, they're going to see what's going on Meepo is going to vastly misunderstand what's going on oh, no. and he's oh, going no. to he is going to order the them to attack they think that George is trying to kill yeah, you I, I had a they think that they uh, and Meepo is going to attack but no George is such yeah. a bro would George have this spell was Oh, that's oh, right. That's no. a DC save. No, oh, it's a ranged attack. No. George, George is dead. <laughs> Meepo comes down, damage. and in and in Meepo has an, an amount of rage and fury, and it kills George. <clears throat> Meepo is going to run. In this time, by the way, Godak, you have had to make a death saving throw, and Vale, you have to make a death saving throw. <sighs> Fuck. Well, I got a success. Oh, and, don't accident. And Bark Dak is just actually dead. God damn it. God damn it. Meepo is going to... Meepo and the kobolds are going to surround you, Vale. And Meepo... Let me see. I need to see what... He has uh, on him. I really liked Bark Dak, too. <clears throat> Look on the bright side. Blood Hunter? I guess. Uh, I don't know. Eh. That'll be fun. Okay. I mean, you never know. We might uh, so it's gonna be... you. That's yet to be seen. But I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh. I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm not sure if it's new party time or not, because, oh boy, things are happening. Yep. All right. Okay, so I need to pull me having like, sheet. Having like all but one member of the party go on a straight up adventure to res a fallen party member is different than two out of five party members struggling to res over half the party. Like that's not the same thing. Yeah. You can make an no, adventure. Worry, I'm you, gonna... can, you can make an adventure out of no. one fallen party member. Me go. Me go first. To... What? What song do you want me to play? Uh, it's called Morning. So, and type in the yeah. automatic. Morning yeah, and near automata. One this second. Is how I feel right now. One, one second. Send me the name. Electra's trying to yell something at me. Gotcha. In before. Yes, honey. This is how I feel. So, uh, this is how I feel right now, man. I'm sending it to you now, Davy boy. Okay, and tell me. It, what it it, is. I sent it to you. Okay. Wait, no, that is not it. Fruit, fruity musting. <laughs> Fruit loop. Are you sure uh, that isn't it? I am sure that, that isn't it. it. I'm barely certain that's not it. There we go. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> this is how I feel right now. Let me see if I can pull up there. Well, while you're pulling that up, I'm gonna pull out some nuts. Um, what? Yeah, dude, I, I keep a thing of nuts on my desk. Oh! Yeah, a bag of nuts, dude. Specifically oh, assorted so nuts. Got a nice variety of nuts in your uh, nut shack. Ah! Dumb computer, let me turn up the volume. Let's... Vale, you have to make another death saving throw. Oh, they all failed? Okay, give me a sec. Two successes. Good for you, buddy. Well, me on the other hand, I'm gonna... 
Nico, I mean Meepo is going to try again. Meepo is going to succeed. Yeah! Hooray! This one almost made it! You will be revived within one hour. Hooray! The Meepo uh, and this Meepo and the Cobalt are going to start dragging you out. However, there is one Cobalt Elite lagging behind. He is going to suddenly fall down. Oh no. Dead. Meepo is, knows what's up, though. He's going to cast Burning Hands in the area. Wait, hold on. I'm a corpse chilling here. Wait, hold on. Oh god, Meepo, in this! Meepo is going to start casting Burning Hands, and the other Kobold is going to put you on his back and carry you up. Meepo, and I then you pass god, out. If you die while I'm unconscious, I'm killing you. Your character then passes out. To be continued! <laughs> as, ah, as, as I pass out, I'm just gonna be like, Georgie, no, not you to me. Oh, you know what, this, you know, David, what you just do right in here, moment. And then fade. Everything that literally just happened. God, okay. Um, alright, so. I just wanna say, I don't care. Like what you have to say? That all of that was really cool. No, it was cool. <laughs> and so amazing. It was cool and tragic. I like. <laughs> Honestly, the fact that we managed to get this far in the first place. I guess. Hey, David, real talk. Should I now make a new character? <sighs> vale has an opportunity to save the characters, um, but. It is not a guaranteed thing. Don't look at me, dude. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna already prep my blood hunter. You might want to make it just in case. Yeah. Okay, David. Hey. Okay. Yeah. I've been workshopping this for like a long time with the blood hunter. Yeah. Because I've been playing a crap ton of Bloodborne. This is going to be the one option I'm not sure if you're going to allow it. Uh huh. For what I imagine for the going for, like the Blood Hunter or the of like some secret technology, like some investments they want to keep secret. And hmm. can I have a battle axe that can extend out oh, to a oh, the trick weapons. Yeah, dude, no, trick weapons trick are weapons. Good, dude. Wait, can, I'm sorry, I didn't quite understand you. What, what do you want? Literally, can I have basically a... Okay. Uh, no, 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 don't even yeah. bother explaining it. Just look up literally any gameplay of Bloodborne. Type in Hunter Axe Bloodborne, and you'll see what I'm Hunter, Hunter Axe? Bloodborne. It's, it's not like... The the stuff isn't like you know futuristic science tech. Like nah, if you look like, at if you look at the setting problem. and everything, it's not like it's like future nah, tech or anything. It's more Victorian. Yeah, they're literally like the name is actually really apt. They're literally trick weapons. Yep. Also, um. So all I see right now is just a big axe. I don't see that it does anything. Uh, look up, like, GIFs and videos. Oh, so... Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. It does and that. All. So, it basically... Yeah. It goes from being a one-handed weapon to being a two-handed weapon. Yeah, and what I want is for it... When it's in its short form, it would be like a regular... But when no. you extend it out, it, for it to it, work like a halberd. No, what about it's what about a battle axe to great axe? Because that's what it looks what like about to me. We're talking about this later. <laughs> For now, uh, we got an episode to wrap uh, up. Oh, uh, whatever you want, uh, whatever you want to do, great axe will work too. It would be a, it would be a really cool character gimmick that he's part of like a secret order. Like there's a whole order of blood hunters, and he's a member of the secret order, and only they have those weapons. So like even if I say actually do roll up a battle master, then it would still be like you know I wouldn't know what they are, even though I would be a fighter at that point and know all the weapons. Like I wouldn't know that weapon because it's like a it's a secret weapon. A 
yes, a super special secret. But anyways, that, that's something to talk about later. For now, Davy Boy, is there anything else going on? Or after my unconscious fade to black, is that the end of this and <laughs> um, come back? Uh, one second, I have to make, I'm going to have to make some background rolls. Okay. But hey, David, what do you think about the song? I love this song so much. I'm just going to keep it playing for a little bit, actually. Yep, this is how I feel right now. <laughs> what do you think about it, Nico? Or are you not even listening to it? Oh, hold on, let me turn it up for a quick sec. Gotcha. I just love Nair, the music from it. Like, ugh. I know, it's... Dude, have you ever played the games? David, We're gonna head over Nair? to a loot. Did you just say Nair? I Nair. I haven't played the games. I haven't played God the games. Um, yo, I, they're really good. It, like really good. Not I played lie, both. Really good music. Re yeah, the music. Best thing. Oh my best God, thing. Joseph, why did why did we not play near music when we were going to Olive Garden? Oh, why? Oh, good point. My bad. How did we not? We didn't play any music. What the fuck's wrong with us? We're throwing. We're both. We were talking we're about D and D stuff, man. But we're we're still throwing. We're both throwing. We're both throwing. But yeah, man. Nier's like, yo, the music, fucking goes hard. It's pretty. It's pretty. Pretty. But yeah. So yeah, David. Um, because you know, there's a there's a Chris there, and stuff and stuff. I, I'm thinking it, it might be a call it now thing and uh, come back to it when um, more people are available. If you want to, then yes, but I already kind of, I, I already have rolled what's going to happen if you want to know. I mean, well, I was going to say, but Chris is there, but he's not here, so I mean. Hmm. Okay, well we can stop. I have to... I have on. We're gonna transition to another map, and I just went to the other map, and we have Erky and Chris and Godak, Big Bird. Everyone kind of just cuddled up together in a room, and it's like, oh no, everyone here is dead. <laughs> hey, hey look dead. at how like almost all of them are dead. You too. Oh man, I just realized it's gonna be a hard day now. It's gonna be weird. There's gonna be a what? A lot of humans in the party now. That's gonna be weird. What do you mean? I know, like for the blood hunter, I'm not... but the way I imagine him, I he's he's uh, gonna be a human. His name's gonna be Lyric. Hmm. I will have to yeah. think about what I would do if I do roll up the battle master. I don't know if I'd make a human or an ASMR. Because I really, I really just like want to play an ASMR. ASMR? ASMR? Whatever. Yeah, do it. Do it. Because I really want to play one of those. But I also just really le legitimately like playing humans. So it's like, eh, which one? I so think I'll ASMR. I, I, will, I will have to see kind of like how the stats roll and how I'm feeling about the backstory. You know, what exactly I come up with it. Because the way I make characters, I kind of... Like, I kind of do the stats and the backstory and the character concept, like, I, I really, I, like, start with a character concept, and then after that, I do, like, details, backstory, personality to an extent, and stats kind of in tandem, give or take. Yeah. You know, kind of depending on how I'm yeah. feeling. If I'm not, if I'm not feeling super strong towards a particular aspect, I only have like a general idea. Then I'll kind of do them both at the same time and see kind of like what the dice give me and be like, oh, okay. So if I fit that here, that there, that makes this type of character. Oh, okay. And then I fiddle things around a little bit and I'm like, that's what we're going with. That's a good thing. You know, kind of like that. Yeah. Like sometimes do it one way, sometimes do it the other way. It just kind of depends. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So I don't know, I, but, might, yeah, but, I might just roll up some stats. I know, but for mine, ever since I saw this one order, the order of the lichen on, yo. Order of the what? Lichen. Oh, is that a subclass? I just want to say, yeah. I actually have a, I actually had a set amount of kobolds that existed in this universe, I just wasn't popping them out of nowhere. There's you mean so few. 
I mean, no kobolds. How many are left now? There were there were only so many kobolds, and there are so to how start out with like wow oh my gosh like so many of meepo's people have died in this <laughs> yo this gives me full reasons meepo do you want to stay or do you want to come with us <laughs> the new party is going to consist of like literally just Vale, chris and meepo georgie's dead <laughs> i'm cool with that this is probably going to get ganked by a shadow in his sleep godak's dead the girls are dead erky's dead i'm fine with that also, there's a bunch of, like, stuff down there. <laughs> it's just chilling. There's a whole lot of plot sitting down there that we haven't resolved. We gotta burn it and be like, okay, we... Like, there's so much plot down there that we just haven't gotten around to. There's so much plot at the town <laughs> that we need to deal with. And it's like, yeah, but, like, we're pretty much all dead. This is bad. <laughs> but, man... So, uh, David, if we're... Hey, David, can we up in the character-to-character? -character or... Well, hold up. So you can let me know. Yeah, yeah, no. in, a, in a minute. First, David, uh, are we doing yeah. so I can wrap up this episode? Yes. All right, well, for what it's worth, <laughs> thank you all for watching, um... The, whatever the hell this was. Oh, boy. <laughs> this tragic <laughs> Thank you for watching story. this episode of The Office, or Undercover Boss, or whatever it is. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not no, sure no, no, which no, no, one no, no, it is. No, 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 no. Thank you for watching this cover of watching this episode of the office directed by yoko taro also i will say um for any of yep. you who do care about uh rules lawyering i did notice multiple things that should have been changed uh, specifically in regards to veil and some spells multiple things actually but i uh will admit that i purposefully didn't mention it because it made for a better story it was more or less the only plausible way to get out of there considering the way things are going and it was also pretty funny and actually half worked and uh because semantics so i do apologize if anyone is a uh, being a stickler for the rules I understand very well, but I think if anyone did pay attention to what actually happened throughout the episode, you will admit that things probably went out for the better because I didn't mention that. <laughs> so, yeah, I uh, just thought I'd mention that because I will admit I purposefully did a thing or two. Don't worry about it. Not important. I swear I know how magic works. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, if you guys have anything to say... Um, the next time we catch y'all will either be probably either the last or the last of two or three sessions with this party, in all honesty. And then after that, <laughs> and there, will, uh, there will probably be a new squad, or at least half of a new squad rolling up. Kind of depends on how things go in character choices. There'll either be one more session or two or three more there's definitely not gonna be more than three more like there's unless things just take way longer than they should there's just not gonna be there's no way so yeah uh, i i guess look forward to that or the lack of it in the new party afterwards i don't know anyways yep. uh do either of you two have anything to say about whatever the hell happened yesterday and today this was very tragic and i love every moment it was awesome honestly I... being great yeah, yeah, so I'm saying, oh, this, I, yeah, I just want to say this isn't the way that I was expecting anything to go. I I had so many things planned out, and none of those plans actually happened. David, David, there's none some, of us expected this to go like this. There's there's so much stuff that y'all missed that y'all could have gotten that would have solved everything, but the way that everything turned out was so perfect, so that, coincidental, one might say. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it makes it feel more of a story, kind of. You know, even though we kind of munched it pretty hard, it was at the end of the day. I hate to see everyone go, but it was fun. Yeah, it was. But anyways, thank you all for watching. I'm gonna wrap it up here, and we'll catch y'all next time. <laughs> whenever the hell next time is. Yeah. Reese's pieces, everyone. Rest, Later. rest in Barkdak. <laughs>